the heart of the Philippines where the sun always shines There's a tale of resilience in the midst of hard times Trojan Heidi with courage in their stride Facing down the critics with nothing to hide Oh, George and Heidi, shining bright In the face of adversity, they take flight With every negative comment, they rise above Spreading love and laughter through the power love On the streets of Manila, they share their story through the lens of the camera, their adventures unfold But amidst the laughter, there's criticism too Your George and Heidi, they always stay true Oh, George and Heidi, shining bright In the face of adversity, they take flight With every negative comment, they rise above You awake there, babe? Well, I was going to do a gunny thing, but I'm not really good at doing gunny. What's gunny? Gunny is that guy who plays that drill sergeant in every show and some commercials. Is it because of your new haircut? Yeah, that's... <laughs> George's... I, couldn't, I couldn't do a gunny. I mean, I, could, I would, but it wouldn't sound right. George's actual... Yeah. Hold on, getting in here to yeah. so welcome to George and Heidi Marites show today. Today's gonna be a Marites show. We're gonna be, test. you guys have been saying we've gonna gossip today. We might just gossip. Actually, well, we will be going, we will gossip because we have only it's part, a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. So some gossip, some real. Or what may might happen. So um right off the bat, an American was arrested in Angel City. We'll cover that. That came up. Uh, yesterday, after we had already done a live stream, so always something going on here in Angel City. Um, and we were going to do a live stream, but uh, we talked to a few of our subscribers this morning um, that like we fell asleep like by eight or nine, we were like exhausted. So we were going to do one at eight, but never woke up. So to set up a live stream to talk about it. But also interesting enough, it looks to be what's alleged. The Armstrong family, whoever's been talking on their channel, has moved over to our channel to say their neighbors, some are Filipinos, we're hearing from. So we're good. That's why we said Meritess, because we're always being blamed for being a gossip channel. And that's okay by me. You know, we, we put out what we can. There is a link. There is something. in. We always try to put links in. And there's a description that says, you know, we're getting this from comments, news. You know, things going around the city. So we, you know, we try to be as accurate as possible. But now we have actually people talking in the comment section and contacting us about the both of them, um, the Armstrong family. Let me clarify that. And so, for, for what it's worth, again, the gossip is when people just talk and have no facts. Most of the part, most of the time, we have facts. It's proven. It's you know, oh, he did this and he did. We have. And there's records. a little bit of truth to what they're saying because, because they're going on about well, the not, workers. Well, not only that, there's some consistency among the gossip, as it were. Because allegedly, uh, the owner of the house and the neighbors, like they're all going after each other in the comment section. So there has to be. So I can't imagine if they're not neighbors and know what's going on. They're like, "Oh, you're that person, and you're that person. I know who you are." 
and then they're going at each other. And I'm like, okay, either way, it'd be interesting. But we will get down to the fact of what we keep seeing over and over again is about his status. And people keep repeating what we keep saying about the Armstrong family, about Richard himself, is that there is a good possibility that he could still lose his status too. Okay, because he he did admit that he was not with her for quite some time. Okay, and even she said that. So um, it may not even take her to do a report for him to actually become deported based on he's already violated. I mean, if if he if he was working without the proper work permits and if they broke up and then he continued to stay on the 13A and continue to work, which all the above is on was on camera in front of everybody then he could have caused his own issues. Several people have made the same statements. Right. No, 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 right. Um, and see, Glenn, that's what I mean by Glenn B says, lo, lo, <laughs> right. says consistency in chismas. Exactly. The point is, if there's consistency in, the, in rumors, there's, some, there's a level of truth to it. And what I'm saying is, if you know what the rumor, rumor principle is, meaning... If, for example, if I have a like a reddish terrier, you know, what I mean, a dog, and then Chismis, there will some say, "Oh, I have a black Doberman," blah 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 blah. But there, there will be some Chismis that'll say, "It's a red Doberman. It's a reddish, you know, Chihuahua. It's a reddish." If there's a consistency, that means that part remains true for the most part. I'm not saying all. But anyway, yeah, I'm just saying, you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, some of it actually turns into that. We never said that we're 100%, but like when we're giving absolute facts that are in front of us, then that's not. Um, Except for the uh, guy we're talking about to talk about first, I guess. Right? Yeah, I'll get yeah. that here in a minute because I'm trying mm -hmm. to do two things. I'm sending you an email. Um, I just seen your mess, um, email. Oh, I believe um, Hector. Hector Gubat, yes. Yeah, because uh, we've had a bunch of them and. I've been busy this morning, but um, no, there's been several channels that refer to us, but then they don't say they're referring to us. And it was another couple out there. I think there's somewhere near Dumaguete. And it's like talking about people and just gossip. And I'm like, okay. So it just kind of, it's just kind of funny. Because, I mean, there's a lot that I can actually say about it. And it's like, it's content. It's entertainment. People find the troll channels that troll other vloggers direct and argue with them and do the hard time stuff. But it's weird. They didn't cover any of that. They're just, you know, no, right. call it haters and lovers and something else or trying. I don't know what they are. So I actually I just say I don't know what they are. So evidently they've got some obsession about us or something. but. All right, we'll go through this, and I'm doing two things at once. So go in and say hello. Hello, Bruce. Yeah, that's Sarah, good. good morning. That's a good perfume obsession. Yeah. Obsession by Calvin Klein. Do it, baby. Your best obsession. Remember, they used to have the guys all in white or tan or something in the commercials that a lot of it. Um, or was I thinking about another? No, I've never, I've never seen an obsession, obsession. commercial. Though. I'll have to show you one. Um. Of coffee because Darren Cream King, it's 7 30 in Kansas City, and will and I will be watching. All right, thank Kansas you so much. City, there you go. Oh, I didn't want to double. You wanted to double? Oh, I didn't. Were them both for me? Oh, they're both double, yeah. Oh, well, double. that's your coffee. So we're waking up. Yeah. Hey, hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Um, Brian, hey, Brian, how you doing, Brian? Um, Brian says, next expat on the chopping block. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Um, let's see. If you... I mean, Hector says, spell I, I just, lasciviousness. There is something I want to say out loud, and, and we mean this. We can appreciate when legit channels, okay, actually keep an eye out for expats that are misbehaving. Okay. So I want to put this out front right from the get go. Um, do we hunt down channels? No. If we think something's wrong, only once since I've been here in three years have we reported a channel for what this guy was arrested for today. The American was arrested for lasciviousness, which means more than likely he was a diddler or chasing small kids or something else. 
the guy that we reported flat out brought him in the house on camera. Uh, he was telling him to take off their clothes and a homemade swimming pool. He was making them popcorn and ca cotton candy. Like he had the whole nine yards set up for these kids. It was kind of crazy. Okay. Now, if I seen our friend that everybody's, I call him our friend, he's, you know, your friend, our friend, everybody's friend, uh, RG, regular guy. Okay. If something like that was boldly in front of us, okay, and we knew that, we'd have been down there yesterday at immigration, okay? Very rarely have we had to go after it. So there's been some comments coming in about him. You know, do they keep coming in. We know people are interested about it. Um, do we think some of the stuff he does is creepy? Absolutely. There's some stuff that is just really creepy about him, how he does it. Do we think think that he's putting on a show do you think he's doing a lot of this to catch people's attention okay that's that where, it's entertainment yes. i mean i get that it's weird but think yes. about um there's like a hundred bloggers here that do some really creepy stuff now again i'm um usually area. not to take sides however be aware that there is a, a pattern on his behavior meaning it's really not it's kind of like i don't think it's him if that makes any sense, I think he's putting on a show. Has um, he has his, he crossed over the line? His, I think so. His supporters are, I believe, are the ones that are somewhat in that realm, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. and, that, but that doesn't Well, here's the thing. We know the people that are against him are okay with the other guys. And people say it's okay to be married to an eight nineteen year old or an eighteen year old. Some of the guys are in a major age gap relationship. So like MYK said, Mike, where do we all draw the line? Okay, we get it. You know, do we have IDs on the girls? The same with this guy. He's been arrested. Evidently, they've got hard facts and witnesses coming forth. When the underage, and I mean underage, I've said this once, when the under underage girls come forward, and I get it. I get that anything under 18 would be considered underage. But like we said, there's a lot, a lot of issues going on with 12-year-olds on Walking Street and 13-year-olds and 10-year-olds. These girls are being hired in the bars and they've been arrested. They've shut places down time and time again. Um, there's child labor. There's animal torture here. Um, some areas, they still eat dogs. Guys, it's not even a joke out there. So to me, he's child play right now. Now, again, if we see him and we're down past Walking Street, which, by the way, is about two miles away, and we seen him with an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old and something was going down, I'm going to go beat the tar out of the man. I'm not even kidding. I will snatch him up so hard that those wannabe boobs on him will just go jiggle, jiggle, jiggle and smash to the ground. <laughs> Don't talk jiggle, about jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. don't talk about talk about moves. I mean, some people get sensitive about that. <laughs> well, anyway, so guys, like we're with it and stuff, but when I hear this 17 and 18 year old stuff, I'm sorry, that doesn't I have a saying about that, but I, I think it's a little rude to say it on air, but it's I get it. It's still illegal. Let the government handle it. If people want to go down and report it, I'm not going to report it until we actually I think a lot of it is being overseen, but we do think there's a lot going on too. So okay. he's being watched by the YouTube world. We we will say that, okay? He knows he's on watch, but he's still continuing to do it. I get that's bad behavior, but the moment you cross over into the family realm, you all ain't gangster. You you can't use somebody's wife or children or somebody on the side to say, "Hey, you'll listen up now." It, it just doesn't make any sense in these days. So we still stick by, and so do other vloggers, that using the family and his mom and dad and all that on the side would not be a way to get to him. So No, I agree, I agree, yeah. I agree. And, so, and like I said, I mean... I just had to make a statement because there's been so much going on. And, and, and I'm going to make a statement. Oh, what's really going on? And I mean, guys... If you have moves, oh, use Playtex. And then get the Playtex ones, but not the one with the underwire. Because the underwire cuts into your skin. Just saying. <laughs> you heard it first here.
I guess he could be like a Kardashian and tape it down. And I exactly. and I know I ain't got no room to talk. I already said I'm fluffy. I already down. said I'm big. I'm big, bold, and beautiful. And if I had to tape him down, then I would just tape him down. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I wouldn't know nothing about Playtex and underwear. Okay. But anyway, um, okay. Now here's the thing. We're I believe. Um, you want me to continue or you want to go? Well. With this story? I'm trying to figure if we want to go in and you said your basic hellos. All right, let's just go and start with the guy that was on our thumbnail. And we think we found the guy. That's why I wanted to show him. Because here's the thing. I'll read what we have here. It comes directly well, from the police station. And we, I'll just leave it. We, it's, we he's probably on should the, have shown the blurred out photo, but it doesn't matter. It's on the thumbnail. The weird thing is about this. Okay, now, do we know what the guy looks like? Yes. Pretty sure. Do, you know, do we know who the guy is? Yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure Heidi will tell you who he is. Now, I'm tell you who he is. the weird thing is, and I say weird, is his name. Well, well, that's not the weird part. The weird part is, what does he call himself on his page? Okay, well, babe, I know that. I, I understand he calls himself Teddy Bear. He calls himself Teddy Bear. But that's not the weird part. The weird part is, is normally when, when they put up your mug shot, they put a clean and crisp photo of whoever committed a crime however in this instance they blurred him out i'm Got like it. i'll upload that and we're like what the freak this is not normal it's not normally they they put out not only your mug shot clearing clear completely clear not blurred out and you don't want his real photo on you're saying 100%. yeah probably. I, think it's I think they're they're they, they did it for reasons i said but what i'm saying is they even show show your address online in public oh that, yeah that's how hardcore filipinos are they put out your mugshot clear and your address i'm getting that here for now you. on this guy they didn't so we're like what hmm yeah, so we But Heidi has a theory on that. My theory is here comes it's uploading now. All right, so it's uploading if you want to grab that. My theory is is it must be pretty serious charges on there's three there's three cases against him. Um George is getting it. He was on our thumbnail. So let me read you what the local police station said here. Regional Intelligent Unit number 3 in Angel City. It was yesterday they announced it. I think two hours, three hours after our live stream, this came up and it was first covered by the Manila Bulletin. Only one other newspaper has released it, but it's the same stuff. So there he is, Ted Matthew Ford, okay? By his face and appears to be a mustache. Hey, that looks like regular guy's mother, according to Andy. Okay, I better, hey, I said today we're gonna gossip. Too soon, too, too soon. Too soon, okay. No, yeah, that, uh, anyways, so, by this okay i'll let you know that i have some software that can kind of remove a lot of that from that there's a guy from alaska that looks like him okay we can say looks like him and what's wrong oh i'm, oh, read, I'm reading I'm, I'm well reading. i'm reading it you can take that down i'm going to read that there's other stuff that came from the police station oh you can read it okay no. um and what it is is he was arrested identified as ted matthew ford currently residing in hinsonville court malabanus angel city ford was taken into custody and arrested on a warrant based by uh the honorable Espar um of the eighth judicial blah 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 trial courts which i did put the case numbers in nothing came up remember stuff is behind here so um for acts of lasciviousness okay and it carries right now they're asking for a bail of 200,000 pesos okay for a filipino that is a lot of money okay for an american if he's got any money then it would be about 4,000 give or take might be give or take a little bit less 4,000 us dollars um no update whether he's been released we usually try to wait for information now when he was looked up on the internet somebody of his age there was only one dude that came up that looks his age and that looks bald with a mustache that comes up with the teddy bear guy teddy bear ford he calls himself and he has three accounts okay and he has links to the philippines okay all the other accounts. so i little detective work this morning 
while George was spending time with the cats. Very nice of you to brush him this morning, babe. And I thought I'd take it. Take it. <laughs> Cause, scooch in. Well, yeah, when you cause, went. Because I'm a giver. Just saying. <laughs> give him. Let's give him something to talk about. Be sure to throw that in there, trolls, for. for <laughs> to just. All right. So, um, but yeah, just weirdly, but he appears to have kids. These aren't kids that he's filmed or anything. And um, we don't know about the girlfriend, but he the, the woman has three kids. Two of them look to be his. People have made comments, looks to be family members on the kids growing up. It shows him in a church locally, okay, with the kids. Uh, one of them's being baptized. It appears to be the one down by our old house um, because of the, um, the whatever her name is. Uh, is her name Mary or something? Everybody's named Mary back then, so I don't know. Yes. Don't ask. So Mary, he's my statue of Mary. So teddy bear guys, go figure that. So it kind of ties right back into regular guy somehow, some way. Will he get caught eventually? I think, I think if he is doing what it looks like he's doing, or it appears that he keeps showing, maybe he is doing more on the side. This is a maybe. Let's say he is. I'm going to let the locals skin him for 16, 17-year-old women, okay? If I catch him with an underage kid that is evident that there's some problems, then then maybe I will. But it'll be more than likely the locals that'll get him before yeah. bloggers I mean, or police. Again, nothing against a regular guy because, again, remember, no. you, you know. Um, mm. I know it's kind of I'm no 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 um what it is again it's it's not just me that think I don't think he is of that type of person we don't we believe he just again it, it's a job there's a lot it's of YouTube yeah we believe he's catering we're to not those condoning type of people. because yes dating super young women even if they are legal 18 19 17 it is totally wrong morally mm. and by law but where it comes into serious danger is the ones that really can't help themselves and in fact the reason why six-year-olds seven-year-olds eight-year-olds nine-year-olds right before the live i was telling heidi it's it's not what he does it's not what he asks it's the way he does it. I'm talking about right with that again. What I'm saying is there's a difference between somebody who actually does it versus someone who doesn't. Um, he does it in a cert. I'm talking about like diddlers, because we're in that subject right now. Um, diddlers, when they do ask questions and stuff, they have a different approach. They have a different it's different. Um the psychology and the methodology is different and that's what i'm getting at it's it's just one of those things um it's hard to explain unless you know what i'm talking about and unfortunately i'm not gonna go i, I don't i try not hey, to deep dive flake. too much into stuff but um anyway. that is in the house hey illuminar just <laughs> hey, facts Darren. cornflake i love that name us we we should add cornflake, cornflake to the in animal. the house Cornflake is in the house. Hey, Victoria, good morning. California Bear, good morning. Yeah, Illuminar's in the house. Um, uh, where was it? I just seen where he said yeah, something about you're, Teddy you're Bear. Ch just, just Miss Queen. I guess. Look at all those rumors. Can't take it no more. Right. Well, I wouldn't say that. Um, like I said, most that we're finding is what's already out there in public, and then once it's in public, we just keep following the story. And usually 98% is actual facts or what might happen, or we make it a discussion versus just a bunch of guesses. So, and right now we're, you know, this just kind of added to it. And this was what me and George were saying when we seen this yesterday. We're like, I bet this guy is really nasty. If they actually set warrants out for him and traps and they went after him, there's got to be something really nasty. And I'm sure it'll leak out or we may not hear about it at all. But 
there's a lot of it going down. Um, they even have teams of people that come over from other countries in the U.S. and they hunt these guys down. So that's what we mean by do we discount regular guys what appears to be? Right now, that's kind of where it is. If, if it's real hardcore, then there's going to be people hunting him down anyways. So it's um, it's just where it is. Yeah, they show like made like to, to a hunt name. a predator in Philippines edition. <laughs> they do have it. And then the Rafi Tufo would be the one. Anyway. That's another thing that I heard. They said a uh, recommendation of going to the Canadian embassy, which I'm wondering what that will do because the Canadian embassy, like the U S they're not going to go after somebody here. They're not, they're not they're guys. Not. If you're in jail or in a hospital, you'd be lucky if they even bat an eye. Okay, it's I don't think the local embassy will do anything about their own people. No, it's not their job. Mm -mm. And that's job. fine. I mean, it, it's okay if you guys want to talk to him. Secondly, Rafi Tufo was mentioned. I, I <laughs> why would Rafi get involved with a vlogger and that'll put the hot light on him? Right. And again, with all due respect, again, for those of you guys who are trying to figure out why wouldn't the embassy do it, it's not their job. Embassy, think of it this way. The embassy is a bunch of clerks. That's it. Well, there are some people in there, but... No, I know, but they're limited. The ones that do have military slash police authority, they're limited to that location. Yeah, Black Grandpa, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Again, with all due respect, again, that a lot of people think that embassies are like the end all. No, they don't. Honestly, they really don't care. Okay, real quick. Um, Steve here says you ain't gangster when you use family question mark. What real gangsters don't care what they have to do or use. Yeah, I get that. But those who are saying it aren't. And if they were, they would have done something by now. I'm just calling out those who keep saying about stuff, but never again, guys, you got to understand that it's all keyboard. I'm telling you that right now. We've been hearing action from multiple channels for months. And then when they have the opportunity, I don't see anything being done. Real gangsters don't care what they have to use to get results. Mexican cartel inflicts serious pain on families. Yeah, we know that. We're just saying these people aren't. And if they would have, they would have done it by now. You know how many times he's actually been in this area out in the open in front of people? And if so, then they would, if they were really anywhere near that, then they would. So, I mean, I disagree. That's what I'm saying. These guys aren't. That I didn't say that they don't. I'm just saying this is a 1940 or 1960 or 70s where it's just a bunch of lip service. I'm sorry. I think, I think, and I will stand by the basics that, you know, you could take a vote by what you've seen on there, but have you guys seen it? I mean. I mean, what do we know right now except well, for I mean, the propositions? You realize how many dirt bags are down in this area or other parts of the country that are actually doing it? Some of them are grooming these women from the age of 14, 15, 16, not just dating a 17-year-old. These guys have been watching these women out in the province, and then they end up marrying them, some of them, and they're right in front of your eyes. It happens constantly. So if you have to start with one, start with them all. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of grooming and marrying them, maybe, maybe, just maybe, Ted is lonely. Teddy bear? Yes. I don't know. He's got three charges of something. No, I'm not talking about that. Maybe. His wife looks awfully young. Oh, yeah. In her photos, yeah, she definitely looked like. His wife looks awfully young. Yeah, so, I mean, if you think about it, there's even rumors that Tim K, being Chrissy was 18 when they were filming him, that she was even younger. Who knows, guys? It's only actual hearsay. Now, that is just me. No, no, Teddy, I just again, can't see marrying no, an 18-year-old. No one we're talking about. Or a 19-year-old, or a 20, or 22. Or does she look So, young? where do you draw yes, the line? she does. Um, Why are you marrying young women? But, I'm sorry. Now, the problem I have with that, it with his wife again not, not a real problem i'm just saying it's i look at her and i look at her kids i'm like to me she looks 18 maybe 20 tops but you guys can look them up on facebook 
We're we're just saying it appears to be him. Everything fits. He's she the only still one looks in that age. Really young, just saying. And his children, and so she still looks really so young. And their the kids thing. are way older. With like, they're what, like, maybe what the youngest probably what maybe seven, maybe. a couple years old. So yeah. I always go back to the theory with this guy um, Ted being arrested in Angel <laughs> City. Hey Ted, not you. <laughs> where where you actually draw the line, guys? So. Most of you seem to be okay with some of these other YouTube channels that we're not talking about baby May and somebody like old dog where he's 70 something and baby May is 30 something, 38, 39. I'm talking about the ones that are under 25. Okay. And we're not even talking about, um, who else are we always in discussion with? Right. Or not regular guy, but, um, Mark Thornton, that's still, his wife is still 29 guys. She may look young. Okay, they all look young. I've seen them where they look 30. And, you know, they look 20. But it's, there are some, like that guy recently, his woman was 20-something when he met him, and he was 60-something. And there's others like Tim K. He had to be near 40-something, and she was 18. And it's just, okay, so where do you draw the line? If there was no law, where would everybody be standing right now? I would draw I always, it, pose, yeah. always pose that. I was like, George knows that the law is what separates the real guys from actually doing something. And some just wouldn't do it even if there was no laws. And I mean as in dating and as in doing your actions or what you actually say. I, I'm just talking about ones that run their mouth if there was no law, like the Wild Wild West. So if you're back to those days... Guys back in the day used to date those super young women. Because here, a while back, whether there was that age thing, the difference of a couple years, a lot of them assumed that it was. Remember, that's what, what's his name said, the guy that Randy that got arrested. He thought the law was a 12-year-old, remember? But it wasn't the truth, right? There no, was there was a no. there was still that law where never it, has been. It had never to be has been. right. It had to be a 15 year old. Even then, mm -hmm. when I was a but there were guys a, doing a it. A young little, little whippersnapper. The law was 12 years old, was legal consent. That's where it people like read and stop reading. Like mm -hmm. 12 years of legal consent. But they went yes. for it, guys. But, a lot of but them. But that, that's the thing. They, they don't read, continue reading. Like, yes, but you have to marry that person and you're still within should be within three years of 12, which means you have to be. Okay. But what I'm saying is you take out of 10 men, how many of them didn't care at that point that were coming here? That's Military what I'm saying. Guys, guys they read legal consent is 12, and then they stop reading, but it goes on. Not only is it three years of age difference, meaning the boy has to be 15 or something like that, but you have intentions of marrying the the girl right. or but, guy, but okay. not. What I'm saying is that they wouldn't have minded as long as the law said that. I think a lot of these guys that are hyped up right now is because it's the law and they can prosecute somebody on. But how many of them here are not adhering to any of that sitting around? Well, no, 15, again, like, 16, like Randy, the one that we reported on again, he, in his own words, he said, well, he's, She's over 12. That's it's all legal. that matters. I'm like, no, <laughs> it had never, never, ever, ever has it been that way. Mm -hmm. So it's it's crazy. And 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 then as expats, you really got to know when to get involved. Okay. Right. It's it it's it's really what you know, it's really what actually counts. I uh, you know, I count on some of the locals getting involved eventually if they think. You know, like we just seen where regular guy arrived at the house. Okay. Uh, he goes on the dating site or Facebook and he hooks up with these people all along his travel. I seen one the other day again with him and a bunch of women and family members. Okay. What happened there, babe? And that was just like really odd. Sure, it's odd, but is it illegal as of right now? No. It's, you know, but that's kind of where we are on that. We'll move on to the Armstrong family next and answer some questions. Hey, Lily, Seth, 
that people attacks here is just his fake account. Um, I believe Lily's one of those in that comment section about um, <laughs> the, the Ted that chats in the live stream. Yeah, so my curiousness <laughs> no, not, not is, Ted, is no. do you think that is them? Because there's a whole section where there's a couple people going back and forth saying they know them, and that's what we're hearing. So wow, I don't usually hear this unless you're in England. Um, American Express getting pinched by the fuzz. Yeah, it happens a lot, guys. Happens a lot. Just not all of them end Rob, up. Rob, and what's Rob weird Trump is Ontario they blank the guy out, and they're not saying what it is. They just said lasciviousness instead of saying what it really is. If they're not saying and they blanked them out, I would be thinking the worst of the worst right now. I'm well, right now. no, 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 no. Again, the fact, again, by default, they don't blank out faces. They don't blur them out. Yep. But somehow they did, and it's just weird. Like, Because right, like I said, there's only one guy on Facebook. Okay, could I be wrong? Like everybody's wrong about things? Maybe. <clears throat> no, they blank him out. This is not but standard procedure. There's only one guy with his name, and the one weird one has three accounts from as three of them because the, the closest ones come up because we're in the Philippines. So they're going to throw us the guys that live the closest to us. And it shows Alaska. It shows him. And then his third account mentions he he's called Teddy Bear Ford. And like, and it was him. It's yeah. it looks like him. We've unglued his photo, can see what's behind it. It looks like him, but we could be wrong. Could be wrong. Hey, hey. Could be wrong. Could be. Doubt it. <laughs> um, Asian shirt says gross. Um, because it's somewhat consistent. Um, lascivious mean could mean anything short of well. Yeah, it could mean that he was diddling literally or doing what they're saying that alleged uh, regular guy's doing. But I don't think brushing up against minors is a crime here. That could be in the end. Kyle Brenner, hello from Monterey Park. What is well, that, Carol? Man. Well, again, like I said, honestly, it's really hard to tell kids nowadays because... It just really I mean, is. I'll just read what it actually says. The basics is lasciviousness is the behavior, um, sexual behavior or a conduct that is considered crude or offensive or contrary to local moral standards and sexual behavior. OK, so a lewd. So like for an example would be like when back in the U.S., when there'd be a guy across the street like like. Whack it, whack a mole across the street with his pants down, then that would be that. Or staring at girls up through the stalls, right? I, it is. I couldn't relate, but. No, probably not. No. You're about as straight as they come. Um, Hector Gubert says between acts of lasciviousness and vexation, you have to stay away from questionable women. Um, that doesn't sound right. Just saying. Well, well I get you on that. Hector. Well, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. And, usually, when somebody thinks of questionable women, they think of either prostitutes or. Okay, but let me tell the you the ones that pretend to let be. Let me women. tell you, as a female American, and I can still remember when I was 15, 16, and 17. First off, there wasn't too many older men that weren't with their hands on my butt. I worked at a car lot washing cars when I was 15 and 16. Okay, while I was in high school. All the car salesmen were always asking for my number. They were touching me. I was telling George all kinds of things. How many older men while I was in high school? Wasn't even me. But I want to tell you, on the other hand, I was a teenage female. And I know what goes through our head. Okay. You do have to watch out for women that are 16 and 15. And I won't go to 14 because there's still a lot of innocence. And, and I don't think the province girls or the innocence of Filipinas has anything. A lot of people go on and on how innocent they are in their mind. And they're twice as innocent as the women in the West. And I'm sorry, that women are women all over the world. Okay. But what I'm saying is I know what kind of horny toad I was when I was that age. So men should protect themselves when they get here. 
by all means, watch yourself because if they can hook their claws in you, okay, and get a hold of you, they will also convince you of other things. And next thing you know, you got a baby on the way. And there's a lot of guys, I'm telling you, if there was no law that said 18 and you, you thought you could get away with it, I think a lot of men would still date at 16, 17. All of you are sitting in the room like, yeah, no way. She's just talking shit. There's no way we would. Sorry, I know you guys would. Now, some of you have good morals. Could be all of you have good morals. And then you just wouldn't date somebody that's young enough to be your granddaughter. Because most of the people that watches us on average are from 40 to 70. I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to date somebody that young either. But there are some guys. It's evident by how busy walking street is. Or the guys coming over here marrying 20-year-olds and 19-year-olds. It happens. But also protect yourself by all means, too. You have to think about that? No, it's not that. It's, I don't know, I was more thinking more on the lines again that they're so after certain people, but hey, the, the sad truth is, it's like a lot of, okay, I'm not picking on expats, I'm not, but a lot of expats go to these bars and bar find these young women and they're not of legal age. Nope, and they have to know it. Probably the same guys up in this room, other rooms, like, God, she wasn't 18. It's the same. They were the first one. If you guys are the It's a common thing. I'm not making this up. A lot of expats come here. Uh, They go to these bars in Angel City and then bar fine. All over the world. Underage women. And they go right back home to their family, their wives, their children that are 16 and 17 and 13 and 14. There's, what do you call them, closet, their closet, closet, whatever. I, I, I would love to put a big name on it, but it happens. So that's why it doesn't phase us. I've been throughout Europe. I've been through Canada. We've been through Mexico. We've seen a lot of stuff. Georgia's seen a lot of stuff. This, none of this is actually new. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. There's actually way more stuff out there. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, anywhere oh, in the mean- world. Anywhere in the world. Like the human centipede dogs? <laughs> Never mind. So, anyhow. <laughs> George's like, that is really a strange movie. And I said. No, I love human centipedes. All of them. I watch all of them. <laughs> I, had a, I had a hearty lunch. I enjoyed eating my lunch while watching it. He did. He's sicko. So, there, there's an example. Just because I guess they're saying those who watch that type of stuff. You know, I mean, doesn't mean you're actually involved in it or, but I don't know. It's a strange world, but I would be curious. Imagine a world if all now, walls dropped and it in, was the Wild West again. Who would be talking? Who would be doing something? Who wouldn't be doing something? A lot of people, I feel probably 80% strictly only do it because they're afraid of being arrested. Remove that. Or that. don't do it. They don't do it. Right. That's, that's what I mean. They, right. right. They, they won't not. do it because they're afraid of the consequences. Correct. Correct. Um, and if there was no law, where does people's morals stand? Like back in the day, a lot of people had a lot more morals. They just knew not to mess with people. And this back is then. why a lot of them hide between behind family and religion. Mm-hmm. They use religion and family as a shield. Like, hey, I'm religious. Hey, he did. I, by the way, there was a religious I have a family quote. of kids. They, I'm not that kind of he guy. He had a religious quote on his page. Correct. It was one of the last now, quotes he had. No, no. Again, I'm not knocking down religious people. I'm not knocking down family guys. But what I'm saying is usually the pattern is there, meaning Actually, they have family. All right. Not that I. Know, they have religion. One second. Sorry. I will throw a rope out to see if Scotty will come on. I'll just flat out ask him. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Um, maybe he wants to come on since then to say something. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we don't know. Yeah, so I mean, I'll send him a link to see if he does because I'll just ask him. Not that I think yeah, that he I mean, would tell the truth or whether he would lie he, about he is it. A busy guy, or right? is he yeah, even, yeah. you know, where does he stand on the recent live streams and more people saying something and i mean i know that he'll probably go around the subject and all of that and he just wants to appear to see if something is said but why not 
doesn't hurt letting him know that there is he's part of the well i wouldn't say he, he will go around the subject i just don't think he you know doesn't hurt um secondly because he was on the show and contacted us i do want to make it clear to everybody that when he appeared on our show he didn't come running and crying and oh you know like i was his mommy that's not the that's not what it was he wanted to come forward on our channel because he knew that we weren't going to sit there and totally attack him and we was giving him a voice he came to us for that reason just because you realize how many vloggers have come to us on the side big bigger channels than the ones you guys have been talking about that have come to us and talked to us we talked to several channels but that's not why he came he came on to confront the people that were actually saying something and we i have to give him credit both of them that came on but why not i would say let him speak no i agree i think he should and maybe he will so i'm just saying being the live streams available if he wants to come on Whoa. not that i mean um will says nah richard do does the same he was caught many times with young girls that's, no that is what's being said okay on young, that subject the thing is with the young girls part if anybody's asking like what do you mean by young girls um i guess the word is younger girls not necessarily underage girls yeah they I, didn't say they were underage they said right they were young so right where they're younger girls but not underage girls to clarify see that but that's where i but that's where i differ on that like people are like oh my god she's 16 she's 17 she's underage oh as long as she's 18 i'm okay with it i'm like does it really matter well if the girl is does, 17 18 and 19 yeah per the law well it's not just the law it's, there's a science to it again it's all about I'm psychological sorry. maturity i'm sorry and i'm sorry if the guys are seeking out women that are that young to begin with to well, me, yes i get that it may not the be okay i'm not arguing with you're Heidi. okay However, with an 18 year old but the when problem she's 17, with the 18 year old jail. argument is not personally meaning it's not that particular subject it's the law has to come up with a rule that okay guys the girls are immature i'm not talking about i'm saying they're not just going to say, okay, 18, done. You know, that doesn't work that way. They'll be like, okay, the girls are immature at this age. Mm -hmm. They're somewhat mature in this age. We should all come up with a basic law that governs most women when they're at mature level. And then, then they did, that's where they come up with 18. But what I'm saying is, I understand that 18 is not a, fixed number for everybody i understand that but just saying they have to come up with a law that states eight this is the benchmark you know what i'm saying some of you will won't won't be at 18 some of you will but this is the benchmark because we have to come up with a number we have to come up with something finite you know what i'm saying i mean for those of you again like oh it shouldn't be 18 it should be again opinions vary and that's why they came up with law meaning no i think a lot of people realize that but most of them don't right? and if that's so you ain't telling me from 17 18 19 and 20 that much has changed well okay first off i don't think 22, anybody's mature until they're 30. 25 in, to 30. in yes. fact but a lot of so marrying, i know a lot of 30 year olds are not even close to mature correct exactly so what I'm that's my point that Right, but how many of these vloggers that are out in the open, regardless of the size of their Shoot, channel, the women alone, are under they're like sixty, and they're like acting yeah, like they're kids. women are twenty-two, correct? So, and some of those channels are spatting off things about these, you know, what's going on, or but some of them are okay with what happens on Walking Street, like they're down there, and I just don't get it. So that's where I'm. I'm kind of, you know, that's just where I am on that. I mean, there's no, no weird line on the whole situation. I, I, and I know it sounds like I'm like, oh, it's okay and blah, blah. But no, I mean, like I said, where, where it really counts is the 10 year olds that are being filmed, the 11 year olds working the bars, the 12 year olds, the, it just, you know, you know, 
and where do you get involved and when, especially when you're a guest in the country, you know? For sure. Haha, <laughs> Monkeypox says 17 will get you 20. Yeah. But it's okay for them when they turn 18, 19, 20, 22, and then marry them. But here's the thing realize a lot of these guys have been living here for years and they knew them within the family and then they still marry them. So isn't that a form of grooming? Right? A lot of these guys just didn't meet their wife at 21 and then they married them or 20. They've known them. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah. Yes and no. Um, mm. The reason why it's called grooming is because uh, um, the psyche of said groom subject is not mature enough and therefore they're still malleable. They haven't set in their ways. However, once they hit 20, they have their ways already, but you can still kind of manipulate them. You, you yes. did put that up earlier, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that, yeah, whenever I click on that thing, it throws everything off. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, hold on. Okay, just facts says, just, like I said, there's an underground network of these types. They all share their vids and photos. Yes, there's, mm -hmm. there's a. Actually, a lot of people think that, oh, that you're talking about dark web. Actually, no. For the most part, it's done in the regular internet, except that they do it on the backside where you don't see it. If that makes any sense. But you don't, basically, you don't have to go to the dark web to get these photos. I'm not saying you should, but you, you get my picture. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remember the... Anyway, um, I don't want to go out of the subject. Um, one second. May C says, oh, wait, never mind. Just Fact says, notice the viewer count on his live stream. The lurkers are watching. There you go. Um, and yes, that's what Heidi says. 17 will get you 20. Oh, what was and... that? I missed that. Was that... Huh? Yeah, oh, never mind. The monkey pox. <laughs> Different yeah, name. No. Yeah. Yeah, and Heidi already, like, um, address that yeah. address steve yes and that's the first thing i thought when i heard that so i mean but here's the thing a real gangster or somebody out in mexico the people we met they would have just done it you don't talk about it forever and then not do nothing wait around a few more weeks and do i'm just calling out wait around a few more weeks that's fine it's, yeah bruce yes. davis says that is weird why would they have blurred out even if it's a bad crime? They put out the picture. They no. always put people's photos. They, they, some of the worst crimes, they flat out just put them out. There, right, but. but this time they blurred them out, and it's kind. That part we thought it was weird, like, huh? <laughs> it's because he's from Alaska. <laughs> yeah, can't maybe see that his mug face. was too ugly. Yeah. Um, I believe they think he has the latter. I think they believe keyword they believe um if he's blurred out he has money or connections well let's just say the photo unblurred matching the guy who calls himself teddy bear or the guy from alaska i mean it, it he doesn't look super rich it actually mentions him doing taxis or something maybe yeah. he saved up a bunch of money but but then again if he's just got a couple thousand a month coming in that might be enough right mr mclevin says oh i see it looks like jav i disagree with you What's JAV? All right. First, or Mr. McLovin says it looks like JAV, Japanese adult video. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I say I disagree with you is because usually Jap favorite. Japanese don't blur stuff out. They put, they pixelate crap. Oh, so man. they put the pixel thing. 
<laughs> anyway, it was a joke. Well, I'm not wasn't joking at that. That's what they do. They pixelate stuff. But oh. anyway. On the side note, did you hear that the oldest conjoined twins passed away? The ones that um, back they used to be on TLC and they even did a country song or something. The conjoined twins, the ones with the half face and the sisters that were attached to each other, well, they I, passed away. Right. Um, but they announced that, I guess, a few years back, she turned trans. So they're now calling him George and something else. So her sister, the taller one that supports the main part of the body, um, actually turned. Yeah. So it was weird for me to see George on there. Yeah. So it's weird. It just reminded me <laughs> when I looked over to Wait, what? The TLC. I'll, I'll show you the photos. There's been some weird things. And then also the guys on TLC, them two sisters attached with one body, just married a husband, and there's a bunch of controversy. <laughs> two heads, one body, everything works from the waist down. So how does that work? But they've got it figured out. Okay, so um, <laughs> Mike Dowdy says, I've noticed they blur out some of the Chinese pe face it, people's faces when the Bureau of Immigration arrests them. Oh, okay. AJ Hap says he's not convicted of a crime yet in court systems. Well, no, probably not. They've arrested him based on warrants and everything, but even when they arrest people, he doesn't, they still show up. Yeah, see, that's what I was getting at, is not the moment they arrest arrested. you, they put out your photo. Yeah, so I've only seen it And it's un times. It's unblurred. Okay. That's what I was getting at. I mean... Bruce Davis says, oh, my God, he's one of them church stalker freaks, right? He probably didn't. He probably only went to church for the free donuts, just saying. And coffee. Free donuts and coffee. Okay, now here's the thing. That's a that's an American thing. Get they, away from their American they don't, wife. When you come here at church in the Philippines, they're not going to give you free donuts and coffee. Are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> they give you, well, they give you free Lugau. Free soup, a cup of soup. It's really good. Hmm. Yeah, I brought you one. Though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just Facts says teddy bears and milk, milk tea. Right? There you go. <laughs> Richard Simmings, Simmings, not Simmons, Simmings. Not really. Um, Heidi's so tough. <laughs> Dang, I'm in our teddy bear brand. Dang. The teddy bear milk. Um, Thad says, if you get mailed a rat in a box in the Philippines, what is the meaning? That's a good question. Sure. Yeah. It's Did not, you receive one there, Thad? It's not like a horse head or anything, but no, I, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I, have to look I that mean, one if up. people are intimidated by that, unless it actually happens, and even if it happens, I mean, it's kind of like. I'm sorry. It's just I'm 50 something years old and I'm just not going to be. I don't care if if my whole family is on there. I'm not going to have somebody say change something or stop gossiping because we have the photo of your family or know about your life. Because anything that people put out once you're on the Internet, like YouTube, Facebook and all that, 99.9 .9 of it is not true unless that blogger actually says it. And then <laughs> kind of like. Kind of like um, every man has a story. Some of the stuff he says, he puts his own stuff out there, like about the the cruise and and his life and his attempts at offing himself and all that. That's what he actually put up. But a lot of it is just made up. I put so, my stuff out there. Yeah. Yep. All the time. So things like that, a rat in a box mailed off to vloggers or other people to scare them if they're intimidated or scared. By well, it. comment. Let us know what it means. Well. Victoria, hey Victoria, how you doing? Watched a lot of Netflix. Movies. Morning, Heidi, George, and everyone. Good morning. I mean, any dead animal coming in a box is supposed to be where it's supposed to. But do you know what day it is today, Boo Boo? <laughs> right. It's do you know what day it is today, Boo Boo? Lemons and razors being sold in a Not bag. Not a day by for a picnic. 
No. No to do for a picnic. Right. Um, corn cornflake fan says, I guess today's not the day that teddy bears have their picnic. Teddy bears have their picnic. <laughs> Izzy and Chris. Chris Hansen would have would be in heaven with investigations here. Have a seat. There you go. That's to catch a predator, right? Um yeah, further down, Philippines Bond says the P the Preda or P R E D A Foundation works in conjunction with the FBI, Canadian Federal Police, and Australian Federal Police. They're based in Pampanga. So, and welcome to the channel. He said he's new to the channel. Yeah, I mean, there's organizations that handle that, and they watch YouTube too. So I say let the big guys. I think it's all about content. We already tell you that we do different types of content. We're just covering what's out there right now. Okay, we're just really covering what's out there. But believe me, people are watching. So, I mean, there are some things they totally miss. They were probably already working on what's his name for a while. So, I could think of a lot worse going on right now. All right. Earn right. Doggy Full yeah. says, thank you, renamed the channel. Arm. Arms gone, family construction. There you go. <laughs> and if we didn't mention, I think we did, um, is that, yes, they've turned the videos off. It's it's uh, because we had seen something, did I mention that, about seeing that one of their commercials on Facebook, it shows that the videos are on private. So I found that by looking at, um, they have several accounts uh, that are, what do they call that again? Where they have Soft puppet. No. They're being paid by several endorsements. Bots. Oh, endorsements. endorsements. And there's several of them that they're doing. The generator, solar power, the uh, foam bricks or whatever they're using, the special bricks. And they still have videos. And also their videos carry on to some of these other free channels. All, all, a lot of YouTube uh, videos fall into that category. So even if you close it down, your videos are still out there. But there's several that just show they're on private. So you can't tell that unless it means like signing off so it means their videos are on private well i have endorsements i mean the wrong guy gives me free prophylactics that way i don't you know make any more little georges out there uh -huh. <laughs> did he take the stick out of your butt um cody williams says Someone brought up Chris Hansen. I wonder how a big channel would be here for the kind of setup for foreigners and locals could be a huge pop of channel. Yes and no. Who's Chris Hansen? To catch a predator. Uh, um, now, I mean, the, here's the problem with this channel. I'm not, again, nothing against you, Cody. Hey, Cody, how you doing? Because um, some of you are probably like, why isn't there one already? one liability okay self-explanatory i don't have to go deep in that two it's the philippines we keep telling you there's a lot of filthy dogs out there man you're talking about a clean puppy forget you're talking about like there's still milk in the corner and of i'm not mouth. talking about small fry if you by chance get the wrong guy in that show and you're like so you're here coming for the 16 year old right and that guy's connected boom your show and everybody and the crew is gone did you guys Oof. did you see Oof. did anybody see the <laughs> it was cnn or fox i can't remember which channel right there was an actual guy that took his try or took his crew out to i wasn't sure if it was the congo or somewhere over there near new guinea or something they met up with a like a head hunting guy Mm -hmm. And they do all, you know, people meet situations, right? I'm not going to say the word out loud if I get, you know, but he knew he had effed up at one point when the guy had a row of teeth around his neck and he said something and laughed at the, the head tribe guy. He says, I will eat you for lunch is what he told the guy. The guy would just start crying. He goes, he's like this. He goes, that's it. Can we get out of here? It was put on real. You could see it. It was actually, I was like, yeah. So something like that, you know, it's, yeah. it's, 
But I think, like I said, when I talk about that, believe me, there's some lower down dogs, male and female, that are in this country. And little things like, you know, pass warrants and all that. They've arrested these people. They got them in jail. They continue to hunt those people down. They do hunt these predators down. But there are guys out there that are really bad. Like they're buying up kids from different countries or hiding here from, you know, like being in Singapore and Thailand. Um, There are several vloggers that are very evident that are actually... I've seen the weirdest things from handing out a crap load of condoms to like they're giving them away for free on walking street to a ton of interviews that are done with these girls. There is, I mean, how about that guy in Makati that just flat out ask about every position. And I think um, expat trash went after him. Now, do I think that's in the realm of some of those other vloggers out there? When that account came up, I think it's the same MO as some of the other vloggers, but Somebody like that guy that's approaching young girls on the street and school girls and asking all those questions or the super young ones, I think there's a lot worse going on. But I mean, that's all I you know got to say about that. But. Well, just saying, if you're an adult, the only place you're uh, technically should be going to hang out at school if it's a college school. Just saying, I mean. Even then, it's questionable because remember, college, college, what you can you can go to colleges are as young as sixteen, right? The point being, even uh, colleges aren't exactly safe either. No, they're not. Um, when I first uh, Kenny Kenny D said when I first saw um, Regular Guy's channel, he was talking about himself as in a third party, he calls himself Scotty Boy in a weird way. Yeah, I thought that was a little weird, you know. He, he does tend to do that, but I still think it's an entertainment thing. Okay. I don't think he acts like that in front of his family. Addressing yourself in a third party is not nothing wrong with it. And yeah, yeah. even Scotty boy. He, well, I know. Even in psychology wise, if you look it up, today. there really is nothing. Today, we will do a picnic and we will be having boo boo bear and milk tea. George is ass in a sling. Now, if he does it consistently, you know, there's something wrong, but he doesn't. So <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. Um, so I think I'm going to open up a crazy's anonymous and just invite a bunch of the vloggers. Yeah. In. So like I said, Cody Williams, that <laughs> show would be super popular for a couple of weeks and then eventually they catch the right one or wrong one as it were, and it'll disappear. Um, and remember once those, um, con- uh, play or like from the United States comes into Asia, you got to have a bunch of permits. Once you're in here. You have to get a bunch of help. They get like locals to help them set all that up. And it just gets a little weird, guys. A lot of them have tried that in the Middle East and it doesn't turn out so pretty. Yeah. Eliminar says, is there a connection between with Teddy Bear and Bee Baby? Sorry. Maybe. I mean, I think about all this stuff going on in the world. Why? I mean, why don't they just go over to Colombia and hunt down the guys that, you know, starting at the age of 12, start having relationships with Eon. Eon. Yeah. Now, related to the subject that Eleanor just says, um, Augie Ben Doogie says, nothing ever happened to Mark Tarn. All that fuss about him, nothing happened. Nothing evolved. Incorrect. There is something going on, and that's why we shut our mouths. Yep. Because we can't say anything. Yeah. So there's definitely a case filed. So we said that. And if there's nothing going on, we're going to stop talking about it. There's nothing. Well, what this, a, what about mean, the other YouTube channels that start up stuff and then never finish? Or the news? Do you think the news is just going, they've got new stuff. They're not going to put it out. We're yeah, still a no, media there's company, something too. going on, and that's yeah. where we're at. And it's going to take forever. In fact, we have a lot of dirt and hmm. about that particular subject. Meaning, you know, we M- get a lot of tips MT, that come in, but we are kind of trying to other parties, comments that we delete where people leave stuff and we have screenshots of it that you guys don't catch that we get in them. You know, remember, we're on a 12 to 14, 15 hour difference on some of the countries. And we just don't put everything out. I will say that. But like everybody, when the story is dying down, that's where it's at. So we have it, but we'll wait. So, And like today, last night, when this story broke about the American arrested, there was very little on it. At least they're now saying 
you know, how much the bail is. As a matter of fact, I didn't even read the rest of the article that was done by the police. Let me see if there was additional yeah. information. Yeah. Um, says they're grifting, even the ones that are reporting, etc. They can't deny they're grifting from it. Um, Bisankano says it's issue. If the issue is of a real concern, we report it and keep it all quiet. That's the drama equals mm -hmm. script. No, again, there's a lot of things we would we would love to say, we want to share, but we can't. It's just well, one of those then, yeah. I mean, there's not much more to say when the Philippines is actually is actually processing. I mean, Steve, what an island we're syndrome. Gonna, yeah, we're not going to sit around and make stuff up in between we can have a discussion about it but yeah i'm not picking on woody allen but personally i i was never a fan of this ever 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 um bipolar punt bipolar punt says regular guys agree it says that that the luzon police were working around the clock tirelessly about this one and it said they have successfully apprehended him Again, it is a how old is he? 60. And he lived, yeah, in Hensonville Court, Malabinus. And a lot of that wasn't even out when we first got the information. There was one newspaper that said he was arrested, but I don't see any additional updates on Malabanes. Malabanes. Yeah. Hey, free rides. Oh, that's kind of creepy. They're picking up a bunch of little kids and putting them in the back yeah. of a van. <laughs> Talk about weird. Yeah, for those of you who are wondering where Malabanas is, Malabanas is in the Balibago area, where okay. it's somewhat n not necessarily Walking Street area. It's the perimeter off the Walking Street area, I guess, for those of you trying to figure out where Malabanas is. So it's near okay. here. It's where Overstay used to live. Okay. Well, here's an update on the police in this area. Operations conducted 18, right? Okay. And it says there were 30 people arrested. And it talks about what they picked up mostly. It talks about how many grams of this and that they got and how much money they collected based on the usage. That's weird. Wow. Okay. So they this will tell you. They had found 28 grams of the one. I can't say it. And then four grams of green. So what? 28 grams of the one illegal substance. 28. Is that what they, I think that's so called what they call crystal M. Yeah. Right? And crystal then M. four grams of the green MG, stuff. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's, they've been catching a bunch of it at the airport. So, but yeah. So that's the next report they actually put in there. So, and then his was right there. His photo was right above there. Yeah, AJ says so many commentators on various YouTube content want to see actual proof before even allowing Philippine government agents to do a proper investigation. Right. And and that's actually true because like soon as something comes out, like regular people that aren't even YouTubers, they're like a ton of Facebookers that are on top of this stuff. So yes, before even the news, like like I said, there were one news agency had it as soon as it happened. They already processed all the stuff in front of everybody. And then a couple more came out this morning, but there's a bunch of stuff on Facebook already. And I think they were saying in Singapore and another Asian country that, yeah, the social media, even it, they cannot control like how the media is putting anything out no more because there's so many social media and other people putting it out. Mm. Which kind of makes sense right? yeah damien actually this is somewhat of a good point to stop on um i'm again not picking on you i think you're reaching not i think you're reaching now by saying this happens often i just don't believe that locals would allow foreigners to groom girls that young i don't agree with you because here's the thing first off in order to identify a problem you have to be either one is part of the problem or two, you've been a victim of the problem before. And for the most part. Well, I mean, it's. When I went to the US, I was an adult. But I get hood, I got hoodwinked a lot. Not because I was an adult, not because I was like stupid. No, because I was naive. 
By nature, Filipinos are naive in nature, and they will not identify skulkers or potential problems when it come to, comes to that. I wanted to add to that, that if you listen to some of these guys' stories, it's not a far reach. How did you meet your wife? Oh, it was a friend of a friend that was already married to a Filipina, and it was within the family. They, don't, they all don't come off of Facebook relationships or these dating sites. They all meet within the family. So, no, it's not far-fetched or made up or whatever. No, so. it's... Yeah, it's more. I it, thought he was talking about the young girls down on Walking Street. No, you know? it's more common than you realize. And again, locals won't do anything unless it's verified. Verified. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just one of those things. And again, it's kind of one of those. You know, until unfortunately, for the most part, as a rule, again, Filipinos are very naive. And until something already happened. Or attempted to happen, and then the girl didn't want nothing to do with it. These, yeah, these. That's the only time, like, oh crap! Then he really is what that, you know. It's yeah, one of those... well, or like they, like, like what happens, like back in the old days. It, nothing's really changed from two hundred years ago. They, it's like they were marrying people that were like cousins within the families or friends of friends of people that live further out, people in Alaska and all that. It's usually. You're raised around these people. And for the guys that come here and there's families that they hang out with their friends that they get to know, then no, I would call it. Maybe they don't realize they're doing it, like buying them things or taking them places or no, I wouldn't say that. It's no, far. on the severity level and, or, or um, rather how often it happens. Well, the Bureau of Immigration by default, I would say on average one per day, they deport or deny entry of a foreign national because they're diddlers on average, on average one. I mean, there's days that they don't get any, but there's days they get five of them. So basically on average, it's still about one per day that they send back. Like, no, we don't want you. You're a diddler. Bye. Now, Bisankano says it happens often enough. Mm -hmm. for it to be a real issue to be on your ties over no again it it it's it happens a lot more than people realize again like i said the bureau of immigration on average turn away one one diddler per day that we're aware of we're we're not even sure if there's ones that are unreported and that's mm -hmm. only on our area for the most part you know what i'm saying they turn away one per day. Like I said, some days they don't catch any, some days they get five. So it still averages about one. And I day. think the mindset of a lot of the Asian countries like Vietnam and Singapore and here, you know, it did even surprise me when, and again, doesn't mean I'm condoning what happened when regular guy was went and met up with the girl that he met online and the family was all there. And in the past, him talking about once they think that he's going to date their daughter, they just up and offer the daughters without any problem. They don't, you know, I'm not saying it's all the families, but according to stories and other people, that's not the first time that I've heard that. If they think their daughter is going to marry a foreigner, they don't even mind them staying at the house. Right. So it just becomes really, I think it's weird, but I think it's been going on forever. And there is a lot of differences in cultures too. Right. Richard Simmings, no offense, but this channel has changed tomorrow. Please tell. I disagree with you for a lot of reasons. One, for the most part, we give, do give you hard facts. And now, we, we will tell you if it is gossip or if it's unconfirmed. But as of right now, to in this live right now, for example, everything we said are facts. Yeah, so mor police. moral police has nothing to do with it. Are we just reporting on something that? Actually happened? Actually, yes. It's a discussion. Right now, it's an actual discussion. Well, so. discussion or not, that's like calling CNN their moral police. Right. We discussed that, yeah. You're going to call every news channel that just flat out stays on one side or no side that they're moral police because they don't say, hey, you know, Duterte is this or hey, Bong Bong is this or these other guys that they're actually, do you see them do that? We're trying to stay as neutral as possible and i wouldn't say that's the moral police why because we're we're not down there reporting him right now so we're just being moral that everything's okay or 
discussing the Armstrongs, and we're going to continue to do it. But we appreciate you being here. That's just where it is. We're not going to change our outfit based on, oh, we don't like you. Oh, this. Oh, that. We're going to continue to cover it. We'll continue to release our personal videos. We'll continue to release when expat help stuff comes up. But this is where we're at right now. So Yeah. Philippines Bone says the Predator Foundation works in conjunction with oh, F yeah. FBI, Canadian Federal Police, Australian Federal Police. They're based in Pampanga. Yeah. So I can't yeah, really skip it they're just trying to get around we know who's in the room today yep. oh didn't hear about that um mike dowdy says who watched the news last night man 20 year old selling their three kids on the dark web caught him anyway oh it Th said their mom yeah this does happen guys yeah well it happens yeah that's another one that's of those things scary, that happens uh... a lot more than you realize mm -hmm. but yeah yeah, but doesn't mean you're on the dark web. It means that cops aren't there. Incorrect. <laughs> There's several of them. Um, are you sure? I mean, I wouldn't doubt that that's what's going on. That's what we said. That's what we said in yesterday's live stream. There's a lot worse stuff going on, and a lot of people know about it, expats and locals. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and um, it's not the first time. Like there was a woman that had a husband. She claimed her husband left. And there were several kids aging from three to 12. She put on camera and did that. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Yeah. Candy agrees with Heidi. It says when I first saw, first saw his channel, he would always talk in third person and call himself Scotty boy in third person. Very weird. Yeah, it was. Nope. No law between the age of 21, 25. Nope. No law at 18. Got it. My wife is 48 and I'm 72. We've been together 20 years. Oh, I, I recognize the top of that head from anywhere. What? <laughs> well, we only sent the link out to two people today. Well, no, I know, I know it is. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I recognize that head from anywhere. What oh, up? sorry. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Speaking of which, no, because you you were at the bottom of the screen and we could only see I could only see your hair, the top mm. of your hair. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, Steve make a good point because actually Steve's usually against us, but you know, but again, yeah. Steve says, I agree, Richard Simmons, morality is subjective to many people trying to force their morals onto others, which would not even practice if they would pull a woman in. Um, uh, good evening, good afternoon there, Mike. What is that? Interesting. That's a call of duty. It is not. Hello? Hello? That was weird. It said the Philippines. Yeah, could be anybody. Yeah, could be a delivery dude later. Um, we were discussing that there was another expat, an American that was arrested in Malabanus and that of course his photo was blurred out and we were discussing that about what he was arrested for um the discussion's been in the channel the last few days about regular guy um so mm -hmm. it kind of came into a small discussion and we were discussing the armstrong family a bunch of people that are living over there we haven't gotten further into the comments that are coming in and the emails where now they're saying more things and we expect it to being their channel closed down so we were going to cover that later but it looks like a lot of people have interest in regular guy and we've been trying to stay as neutral as possible. I know you interviewed him and he discussed um, things that weren't what I would call not right. Like, um, like regular guy had discussed with you about, it's almost like he was talking about himself, but trying to use a third party to talk about, was he discussing about hiring in people and then seducing the help where it was wrong or right. Some of his behavior. Um, you know, and in your opinion, when do you actually start the serious reporting and when you get involved? And so that's been kind of the discussion right now. And, um, you know, we gave the example of our diddler friend that lived here in the neighborhood where he literally had the kids in his house that he didn't mind 12 year olds. And we kind of went into that discussion. And um, 
So that's kind of where we're at. Mike is regular guy, you know, and. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, with, with Scotty, for example, you know, if you're talking about that particular interview we I had with him, well, you right. know, you're, you're able to distance yourself if it's a story, right? Right. So <laughs> he distanced himself because I have a friend and we were talking and this is what their plan was uh -huh. now. But then at the very same time, he had a video before that where he explained that, you know, this is a technique on how to find a Filipina that you want. So he then said, you know, per suggestion of another person, this is what you do now. Um, okay. I, I, I call and you know, it was a, it was a decent talk. I was not like emotional. I said, but listen, that's unethical. That's wrong. That's, you know, you know, and so when I, when I did that, he didn't sense. So he tried to do that thing where he's like, okay, well, well, you know, but you know, that's wrong. But you know, the thing though is this and that. And I was like, it doesn't matter. It's unethical and you shouldn't do that. And Correct, even, even if another person does it, so that's a problem that exists right there. So, you, you know, when you start talking about like that guy today that got arrested, just to let you guys know if it's the more of like, we can say national police arresting him, or it's the, the, the Bureau of Immigration arresting him, they'll put his photo out. If it's local police, more likely they'll blur his face out. Okay, so then it's local. So yes, it shows yeah. that it was a local unit, and they've had a warrant for him, and they've been watching the guy. Looks like. But so. if a news outlet gets it, they'll show the full photo. They do. So they already have, but yeah. they're not showing it right now. So the yeah, one so. did. I think the Manila Bulletin. I may be wrong. They initially had it, but it's down. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. weird because when it came out, um, we were going to cover this yesterday. And I said, let's wait and see more. So one other newspaper came out with it. And then I found this stuff on Facebook mm -hmm. and we can kind of see what the guy looks like. And based on that, we found only one guy that meets those looks and ages. The rest of them are literally in the U S but I think Facebook is feeding me the people nearby. Okay. So that he has three accounts and it was feeding and the mm -hmm. guy looks like he has children. It could be the Filipinas children, but it shows them in a church nearby mm -hmm. it's a local church here and so it appears to be the guy so but yeah so that'd be why they blurred it then it's the local police yeah so he, he you know, he's being he's being uh, um accused with a lascivious act right so you know that's where there's overt and pretty much what they say like offensive sexual desire type of a situation that's happening when you're dealing with somebody on what he's being charged with so you know right there alone they can definitely put a charge on them for that. So this is where people need to start understanding the basic laws that exist in the Philippines. Now, a lot of people hate it. Like, I can't believe they have these archaic laws, this and that, or, you know, these are just meant for foreigners. No, these are meant for naturally Filipinos. I don't think that uh, a country will create a full law just because based on actions of foreigners, right? This is, th th these do occur with Filipinos. And then you have guys will say, well, they only arrest foreigners, but not Filipinos. No, look around. They do arrest a lot of Filipinos. And I, I get those a lot. Well, no, they don't. I don't see anything. And I'll say something like, do you, read, do you read the Filipino newspaper? No. Do you continuously watch Filipino news in Tagalog? No. Do you understand Tagalog? No. Did you look into, you know, case laws that are in the Philippines? No. And you're like, well, then how can you say that it's only being hit with foreigners? It's because it's what you, you're being fed. But, you know, continuously, time after time, a lot of Filipinos do get in trouble for the same exact laws, you know, that that's occurring. So, you know, for people to think that way, you know, right there alone, you know that they don't look around enough. You know, I, I look into Phil Net. I look into that. It's not enough. Right. Because, you know, with, I mean, look, just look like in the U.S., you know, in one day, how many shootings occur in the United States? Do all of those shootings show up in the news? No. Correct. There's so, a lot more going on. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that happens that cannot be put up, put up as much as possible. So, I mean, but the thing goes with Scotty, he can get a charge in regards for lascivious acts based on that video of him soliciting a woman for sexual favors. The one on walking street that's going around. The one where he was sitting down and he says, I was drinking and I, and, and I, it, it's, for me wise, it's drinking does not excuse the behavior. No, you can never hide behind liquor, drugs, or you just woke up. All right. So, you know, yeah, so, so you're talking about the one where he solicits for very little money to touch her and yes. stuff. Now in yes. 
to be fair, can he say he did it for the content? Yes, but it doesn't matter. It's actually even worse. Why does it make it worse? Because he makes money for creating content, doing lascivious behaviors. So there is a monetary component added to this, which then it includes to the fact that now let's say, to be fair, that that girl is a day walker, a night walker, a street walker. Let's just put it out there. Okay. Because she was putting out the behaviors. Okay. Right. It doesn't matter because right there alone, he is promoting, he is promoting prostitution and soliciting prostitutes and making a making income based on that. So just with a lot, so do a lot of bloggers. So I do, I do want to say that we know that exists and there's a lot of things that a lot of them are doing that's illegal. So it'll be a matter of the reports that people are claiming that they're going to place against them. Yeah. Because we know there's a lot of that going down there. But why is one specific vlogger being targeted when we know there's a bunch more going down with other vloggers? Interesting. So why are we why are they um going after P. Diddy right now? There's more of these things happening locally, all that stuff, right? Yeah. But you go for the one that's going to create better views. You're going to go after the one that's going to make other people kind of sometimes go under the, you know, hide and do their crappy stuff under the stuff because people are getting caught. And then why do you go after somebody like P. Diddy, right? Well, a person who acts that way is connected to other people that are feeding and using that type of behavior because a lot of these type of people it's a network it's a it's it's something in regards for a component that it is done in a connected way where they know each other they feed off each other Mm -hmm. so you go after them and to find the other people that can be involved so do you think that's what's being done by what you're saying by the connections and the last few words that you just said about that and scotty do you do you believe that's actually going on with with scotty i will say this that there's a connection among the viewers that he has and the people that comments on his his stuff right he feeds his viewers so let me just let's just go ahead and i'll let's do this in a fair fair look you know, there's the stuff where they say, oh, well, he's a, a P, you know, he has a, he's a diddler or whatever to say. I'll even go ahead and remove that from the conversation for him at this very moment, just to be a little bit more in a fair side, whatever. But he is feeding the ones who needs those type of voyeuristic content. He's promoting it. It's no difference than Randy putting up a website. It's no difference than expat king putting out those youtube channels it's gone to the point for him unfortunately where he has started listening to the people that he should not be listening to there's people in your comment sections that tries to make you guys move to a direction that you want sometimes you won't sometimes you will right same thing with me a lot of people get mad at me because i don't just to my own beat of the drum what my feeling is or i'm at they want to right. silence me. They w- they don't want me to expose a lot of these things. But at the very same time is he is feeding them because that's what they want to hear. That's what they want the type of content. It's just, you know, for me wise, in my, in my um, humble opinion, that's where there is a line. Now, per past conversations with Scotty, per his videos, his continual videos, he has a different ethical level. Right. So, you know, you you guys were talking right when I got in about morality. Well, when we start talking about morality, whose morals are we abiding by? According to his morals or his own ethics, those are not bad things. And a lot of people that go ahead and coincide with what his beliefs are, hence a lot of them will start defending, you know, this and that, then their morals are totally different. But based, but what we have to look at it is, you know, the morals are set in stone when a law is put in place and there are laws that exist in the Philippines. Hence, that is the moral, you can say, you know, 
weight, counterweight that happens. That is what is, there is based. I mean, there's no difference than when we start talking about the law in regards for, you know, 18 minimum is the consenting, right? Right. But then you guys have people that will try to counter that and say, no, 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 but is this and that. So right there alone, when somebody, when somebody just goes, no, well, they said it's 12, it, it got upgraded from 12 to 16. The moment that somebody says that when you say 18 is the minimum, right there alone, you know that person's morality is bad. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm for, for, for anyone out there that says that having sex with a 16 and 17 year old is okay, I think that's BS. I think there's no such thing as, as, as you know, if you're 16, I'll give you that. You know, but not when it's, you know, not when it's on any, at any point, at any person who is an adult should be even able to think that it is okay or that it is right for someone to have a, you know, sexual encounter with somebody who is underage. Even for the, even when somebody says, oh my God, she just turned 18. So she's legal. No, you've been waiting for her. That's what I was talking about when it comes to 16, 17, 18 year old. 19 year old in my opinion it's that's that's what i was saying about that earlier so yeah no. it's not right so that's the difference the morality is based on the law that exists when the law exists you cannot complain anymore like people say well i can't believe that that law is wrong too bad you didn't vote for that person who created that law it's a, it's like what what goes on when trump goes on when biden goes on you can't biatch because the person got that person got nominated and Put, put in place so you don't get mad you know everyone's complaining what's going on in california right now things are getting expensive well you guys have been putting newsom in the damn ballot for so long what are you talking about stop complaining and most of the time it's people that complain are the ones that actually didn't vote and so when you don't have a say to you voting in the philippines and stuff like that you have no choice but to abide what the rules and laws exist and a lot of these guys want to kind of now, you know, is prostitution legal in the Philippines? No, it's not. Okay? It's not. Is no, it's there not. a, are people allegedly, we're going to use that, taking advantage of, it, uh, advantage of maybe it not being forced or so, whatever? Sure. Now, let's even take it to the fact that, you know, here's one thing, right? How did they go around this whole thing about paying for people? They created bar fines. Pretty yes. much. A loss for a facility of a girl of an entertainment may lessen their income through, um, how would you say, girls' drinks, ladies' drinks. So by you removing that potential earning of a company, you have to pay that fee. So they took that around the system and say, okay, this is a way of doing that. So is that the prostitution word? I guess not anymore. If you follow it correctly, but what Scotty did. Doing that in a public setting already showed that he committed something illegal in the Philippines and at the very same time as posted it online. Okay. You know, he can go ahead and claim that he was drunk, the alcohol got to him. But when does that okay. stop people from getting arrested? Let's talk about, okay, in the legality of this, because it's not one channel, but multiple that talk about you know, that he should be reported. We've heard the Rafi Tufo show. We've heard uh, contacting the Canadian embassy, um, going in and making an appointment with NBI. Wouldn't you mm -hmm. just actually just do it? People, from what, I, from what I've seen so far, people are doing it. So there'd be a matter of time. If, if what they say really goes through i mean how many people said they're gonna they, they got me kicked out of the philippines right <laughs> and well, then i that's show up in what the i mean so i mean what i'm saying is that this has been going on for a few months so this whole thing about rg has been a little bit i'm just wondering why it yeah. didn't happen from the very beginning so so it's because uh, sometimes just know. like anything else people need to have enough evidence for things to be used to make it more clarifying and the fortunate unfortunate thing that what scott did is he put it out there in which people did get those information out there. He did put it out. Now, if Scott goes and say, you know what, that was something that I did not post and all that stuff. Okay, fine. You got hacked, whatever. What you guys do in your bedroom, what you guys do in the streets, 
what you guys do, whatever, and it's whatever, then that's, that's, I, I say, you know what, you have every right to hold that against people um, in, in regards where that's on you, that's your own personal stuff. But when you start putting out the content, when you start doing it in public, in regards to recording it, showing it, and then what is he going to do? I've not, I, you have to trust me. I never lie. He's going to say that to, a, to the prosecution, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Right there alone. He, they can say, well, he just lied to the girl because he said that the mo- he was record- he was having a conversation with his mother, which was already false. So that's already one proof that he lied, that he's a liar. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's so much things that, in, in this particular situation that can be used against them already. Don't forget that there's other videos. There's, there's these other people out there who has the videos of him pulling the girl's shirt, looking down her shirt and everything. That's yeah. another problem right there that exists as well. I've seen the videos. Well, and this will be a lesson for other vloggers, that is for sure. I don't think it'll curb any of them that are still out there with the same behavior, but. Yeah, I mean, look, like, for example, I mean, I, I've, you know, when you look at regarding the, 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 this, you know, sexual exploitation or prostitution definition in the Philippines, right? It, it's selling your, your, selling your body for a particular, for, you know, for money and stuff like that, right? You know, for sexual favors. But what people don't understand means it's not even you don't even need to have sex with someone to be considered a prostitute in the philippines just doing lascivious behavior in public online in um what do you call this thing in replacement for money is already prostitution talking about sexual things in a provocative manner to try to get people to be enticed and everything under Philippine law, um, like let me hear, let me let me let me let me get make sure I I quote it correctly, okay. So I want to I want to make sure I quote it correctly because I finished a video about this a couple days ago. So under Article Two Hundred Two, prostitutes penalty for the purposes of this article: women who, for money or profit, habitually indulge in sexual intercourse or lascivious conduct are deemed to be prostitutes. So by that definitions, theft, gelai, all these girls that are making these content online to make money are considered prostitutes in the Philippines. So the ones that, you know, wrap the towels around them or I, yeah, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. So you now, cannot participate in, in that well, behavior. Well, that's what I'm saying is where is I get it about Scotty, and we don't condone it in any way. And I'm this is just a topic, just a conversation. When I say that, we're not like supporting him and we're not like, but in general, beings it's all out in the open and there are others doing it. It's like, you know, where is the you know, I mean, is the same group of people going to get together and do it with a bunch of people? I get you're saying there's popular, there's popular female vloggers doing it, and there's no you know, actually there are bigger fish in, out there. In regular guys' defense, also, um, that's I've said earlier. A lot of people misidentify that it's him. It's not him. What I mean by that is, remember that YouTube is. For him, it's a job, okay? And what I'm saying is Kinda like Johnny Smalley. he will do things to keep the revenue. And the re- and somewhat proof in the proof, and I say somewhat because, again, the stuff he does on the show, again, it n- this did not come from me. It's not original. He actually copies a lot of things that an American YouTuber does in the U.S. in Vegas. Um, it's this guy, he's big and buff, he walks around Vegas, he records himself whenever he sees a pretty woman, he slows down the video to show the woman, and then goes on again and then sees another woman, everything stops. He Again, that's not a, it's not really Scotty's style, if that makes any sense. He just copied somebody else. I don't and, think that that's a, but I don't think that that's a, a that's a valid excuse to be able to how no, would you I, say, defend him I because in the, I'm not saying he's it's doing a valid it. excuse, but what I'm saying yeah, is, it's kind of like Johnny Somali and his right. What I'm saying is trying he, to get the attention. It is not an original conception by him, um, including the mom thing. In fact, the exact same vlogger 
says the exact same thing. There was another body exact guy. Well, it's Wall the same Street. guy. It's the same guy that says, oh, it's for my mom. Right. My there mom's there was one that just left over to the Cebu area that did the exact same thing when he was staying down at Walking Street for a while. He would do the same thing, say hi to my mom, and he would pan in on the Correct. girls and really young girls throughout the city. So it's and not so, an original concept by or Bradley yeah, Guy, which means I don't think he came up with it, meaning I don't think he thinks that way. Now, again, I'm not, I get it's not an excuse. No. I understand it's, but what I'm saying is, again, it, I believe he's doing it for the revenue. You know. On his but that's business. even worse. Yep, it's not going to save him. So you think they'll deport him? Do you think they'll go after him with the reports? They'll they'll focus in. Because I mean, but just to go with Georgia, that was Vegas. This is the Philippines. Laws different applied. People apply differently in the Philippines and stuff like that. And once again, you know, you can't. I mean, a good, you know. So you guys were talking about Johnny Somali, for example. So like, like I said, okay. Philippines they even use this ignorance judis non excusa, right? Plain and simple. Ignorance of the law does not excuse the fact that you don't that you're gonna um, get charged by it. So a good example. Um, there's this uh, streamer named Neon, right? So he was videotaping in Dubai, which was which is not allowed in public on certain areas, and he kept on doing it. He was warned. He says, "Okay, I'll stop," <coughs> but then they were able to see that he was still doing it live, and so he got arrested, and he might spend jail for a whole year in jail in Dubai. You know. Give me a second, guys. Texas Filipinos in the house. Good morning. Thad says, owner of Tropicana Hotel in the fields in the 90s got a dead rat in a box. Is a death threat. He sold out and left the country. Uh, there's been several of them. Yeah, because somebody was asking about what does a dead rat in a box mean, so... Kind of a weird. No, he. Wait, can you hear us, Mike? Yeah, I just want to. Okay. Okay. Oh, he was holding his phone up to show us. Yeah, I just read through. The hello, Texas, Texas Filipinos in the house. Okay. I'm just kind. Of, we're just kind of going through the comments here. I mean, in talking about that situation. That says Ted Nugent married his adopted underage Hawaiian daughter. Actually, a lot of this started with, yeah. okay, Johnny, Johnny, uh, or um, Jerry Lee Lewis, 13 year old cousin. Elvis started grooming Priscilla at 13, but she just released a video actually talking about that. She didn't feel like that. She liked that he was manly and taught her how to dress and do all of this. And people back in the day, I go way back to the 1800s because a lot of them, there was that type of young marriage, but it doesn't make it right. It is very wrong. So that is for sure. But in talking about Johnny Somali and talking about the vloggers that are doing this, here's another thing. If every time somebody, and take it with a grain of salt, if every time somebody reported that said they're reporting a vlogger, every time they said that somebody will be deported or blacklisted or not allowed to come in, you can believe that immigration is getting tired of those too. So I get that people need to gather their information when they actually do the reporting and everything for sure. Because think about how many do that on vloggers versus just a regular guy. It's usually, in my opinion, the vloggers on vloggers right now. I don't think the regular average guy that's just quiet sitting over in another town sees something or somebody on walking street and they go and report something. Right. It's usually vloggers. Like Mike said, it's for the views. It's for, you know, I don't think it is for some of the other channels because you'll hear them. They really don't care. And I get it They They want to take care of him because he's misbehaving. So that, that I actually agree on, but I would be curious to sit back and watch and see what happens. We said earlier we'd be watching. Right. Damn, John Ryder, that's messed up. Sounds like Tim K. Circle of Family. <laughs> hey, right. They're <laughs> saying, and I, there's no confirmed situation of, we know that he married her at 18 or got with her 
And then the other stories are is that she wasn't, that he waited. And so who knows? It is hard to say. Uh, Texas Filipino says it's Fiesta there, and our rooms are fully booked for the weekend. Duma Vlogger's coming here as a guest. That's sweet. That's pretty cool. Um, he says, I wish the best for the home show, can't we? Kind of looking kind of crazy right now. Um, Actually, from what we've heard, that's somewhat unfortunately not on the books. Hope Armstrong fan can move on peacefully. Um, I, I guess that's our cue to move on to the Armstrong family. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Now, first off, be aware that they put out their dirty laundry out first. Um, first, she did. She did it early on during before the breakup she did it early on she made a few videos about it and talked crap about it he made a reaction video which in my opinion made things worse because honestly most people didn't know crap was going on until he made that video right Um, because again a lot of people aren't aware of her channel nor would they watch her channel not because it's bad or anything it's because mainly it's geared towards filipinos even like I said, her video, her video where she was talking crap, it's all it's all in Fil- in Tagalog. You know what I'm saying? It's catering towards more Filipinos than expats. So again, most expats weren't aware. Like, what what happened? What's going on? You know, what I mean? okay. up until Richard brought it out. Yep, and then it went from the next day we did another live because he turned the videos off. Um, so people are like, where's this channel? What happened? And we know that that was a sore spot in their marriage. Some of their videos still remain um, because it is put on other channels and other platforms. They've had several. Um, they've had several. I just said it earlier where they have contracts with other people and they're promoting products and everything. So they still have their video sponsorship of several companies. They even came here to Angel City. Um, to actually at one of the hardware stores at the mall to promote one of the products at one point. Um, But it looks like some of the neighbors or people that have left messages to him and some of the accounts, he was saying that he had to serve a cease and assist on somebody. Well, now I'm assuming the way that he was talking, it was probably her maybe because I haven't seen a video made since or it could have been somebody else that was a neighbor it's hard to say but he said served on that other person so i took it at that point that he allegedly served her something to be quiet about the situation and a couple days ago he said a couple days our marriage will you know will be finalization but he went on to talk about for those that don't know that they had not been in the same house for x amount of time i heard eight months and then they had not been sleeping in the same bed, which was a lot of extra information and over two years almost in a three year marriage. So she told like one side and the other, but it looks like some of the actual comments are actually coming up about uh, both of them. Now, these are just comments in a discussion that both of them. They're saying that both of them have issues. These are alleged neighbors, other Filipinos, other expats. Um, There's stuff in the comment section and out and about that they were overcharged for the house. Then a bunch of them said, no, it wasn't an overcharge. They asked for a different type of construction on it. Um, That there's um, neighbors that are talking about them. Supposedly, he has been having parties, not the one that he discussed. And there has that he's a, he's got a um, strong appetite for women, has been said several times by different people that say they know him. So it's like, what's really up? Did you drink your coffee? No. Each time somebody says, (laughs) oh, he has has a strong appetite for women, I'm thinking of Hannibal and his flava beans. The same, I mean. (laughs) Yeah. It tells you where my mind goes, like, oh, I'm going to eat you. Oh, I see. I'm like, a lot of people, hello, Clarice. A lot of people want the vlog. I mean, we've heard a lot about they wish him well. Uh, we like the original content. There's been some people come in that says, 
we don't care. He just needs to rename it to a construction and we'll continue to watch. They've said a lot of, you know, good things about her. Um, this person says Richard's not wrong about his skill set, but more often than not, um, job fulfillment falls onto the foreman and engineer in charge of the job. A Filipino friend of mine had hired two crew members where they were building a concrete uh, wall in gazebo. Um, and they said there was poor workmanship um, on the issue plus uh, laziness of the Filipinos, okay? Which they were saying, like we were saying, that if you don't keep on top of a crew anywhere here or the U.S., you know, things will slow down. You do have to watch. And I was saying that could be why they're saying that Richard was really rough. There was like all kinds of like back and forth on him being mean, him with a bunch of women. And whatever continued on that channel has actually poured over to our channel. I'm just looking up the comments. You might want to go through that. I'm trying to pull them up. I wasn't prepared to go in there right away. Actually, go into the Steve says, "Sleep with the help." No, never poop where you. Yes, don't sleep with the help ever. Somebody said, uh, "The bottom line is, is when you put your stuff out there in the public right, eye." Right, that's just Filipino. Um, there is a price to pay, but the upside is, is they weren't doing any of it for free. Yeah, especially a channel that size, they both gain numbers. Especially her channel, I think it's almost two hundred thousand on the one video. Um, but when it's out there, then yeah, people are going to comment. People are going to, that's like anywhere. There's still a small celebrity, um, you know, their status with what's going on and it's going to be covered because he's an expat. So I get that. It's like, you know, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find where the main things are. I just wasn't prepared. Alexander says in the law enforcement community, we all know regular guy shows P traits. If you look at his comments, you can see P comments. He will be caught because he thinks he is smarter. Um, Steve says PDD thinks he's too big for his purchase. <laughs> Michael Haney says a pimp pimping out his channel for content. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read what came in just a little bit ago. It just said that Richard. Um, and these are comments. We're just reading what's been coming in. They're claiming it's what they've left on the other channel. Um, Richard is a really bold liar. He lies. Um, this guy claims to be his neighbor um, that is there at the dead end street. And they said here that he was that they cheated him on the price. We discussed that earlier um, of the price on the house and everything. Let's see, we have learned several other cases um, that he acted the same on it. I don't know if they meant building. Uh, they're saying Donna was involved in the money about the house and that they are no longer friends. Just know that it's public if it's actually out in the YouTube world. Now, as far as his latest video, he promised not to have a girlfriend and I was laughing out loud. Because when Donna left the house, he did start having pool parties with many young girls. As it is, it's a dead-end street, and you can see where all the visitors have passed by our house. So we know, and it said that um, they can see the girls from their place. Um, since some weeks, he also brings the girls, and we can see him on his motorbike, for an overnight is what they keep saying. Maybe they're the ones reporting stuff to her. <laughs> Why do I mention? I don't want to speak, okay, which is actually in public. From one side in the marital dispute, it is in our business is what they said. Whether he has a girlfriend or not, it doesn't matter. But I do want to explain how boldly Richard spreads the untruths as he's claiming in his new video. So. If he is cheating, then he can be arrested for adultery. Um, yeah, there's someone talking about the tricycle. Yeah, but if you have a party with multiple women and they're all over you, that's okay, right? Because, you know, you're just being lovable. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch that just goes on. Let's see. 
I love it when the offensive offensive ones come in. Oh snap! That one's not for us. That one is about Andy. Oh, I knew. Now, oh, the the thing really is, sad. um, again, before this alleged, you know, breakup. And I say alleged because again, the, before the actual breakup, or rather, there is credibility to stars because of behavior on both parties. So, for example, one, you guys saw Donna's place, right? The fact that she has her own place already and everything, it's all set up and everything, that, that means it's been going on a while. Right. So they've been broke up for a while. Right. And again, the fact that it obviously looks like it's set up just for her. I mean, if, for instance, for example, if Richard lived in that apartment, the living conditions would be better. And I'm not picking on Donna by any means, but what I'm saying, they'd be more Western standardized already, a.k.a. not not a fan and rigged on a window. You know what I mean? I mean, Amer- an American expat, that would drive them nuts. You know what I'm saying? Their OCD would just tick over. Like, ooh, get rid of that thing. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, the fridge, again. Yes, I understand she has a, a full-size fridge now. I get it. But that fr- that chest fridge would never have existed, you know what I'm saying, if Richard was did live in that place. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's telltale signs that Richard never lived in that place. Donna lived in that place. Donna has been living in that place without Richard. And so now in her video, she never actually, the only thing she says again is one is the YouTube channel. She complained about YouTube channel that Richard took it over. She also complained that again, you know, she mentioned a few stuff, not what Richard said on his his reaction video. Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. It says he never accused her of having an affair, but they did state that she had a boyfriend. Um, how's that accusing him if, if they've been separated? They're separated. They can date is what's going on. Um, Incorrect. If you're married, you're still married. Yeah, it says until the actual papers come through. But according to... This chismas going on in here, people saying their neighbors, people saying they've been there at the job site, said that there's a lot going on. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, now, again, when I said if you're married, you're, you're married. I'm talking about in Philippine law. In Philippine law, as long as you're married, as long as there is no actual divorce papers actually done, he told the guy to go You're back still married and you can Germany. be charged of adultery, yes. They're saying that, that, yes, that there was, it was the guy who's complaining that bought the house that tried to change it midway. And of course the price went up, which would make sense at that point. So yeah, it does happen. So they're saying, this person said that they, they've known him and the neighbor for years. Um, saying, yes, you're still legally married channel doesn't exist so there's a lot in there i would just go through the comments because right and like i said there's still still signs that you know stuff has been going now again in her video she actually didn't accuse him of cheating however it's there it's it's one of those read between the lines she never actually said he cheated but it's there it's the way she says things and i'm like oh that's what happened you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're just going to go through the comments, see what people are saying about all the stories. Salem says me. Epstein Network, basically. Because um, it's that says US, much US government same. diddlers. A lot of people coming forward and just saying that they've seen both sides. There's been blame. They're saying they made a lot of money. There's claim through emails and otherwise that. Uh, they both knew what they were doing. They scammed a lot of people. I heard everything. So remember, take it with a grain of salt. They're just people in there commenting. Could they be neighbors or no things? That's a possibility. But it looks like they've moved forward. The divorce should be finalized. Now it's just going to be a matter of payment. The channel 
Um, she talked a lot about the channel and the amount of money that was coming in. And right. So, yeah. So. Now, again, this is where, again, I said that I believe regular guys feeding his viewers. Um, I remember I said most of his stuff, what he does is an original. I and mean, I'm not trying to insult regular guy. I'm not by any means. But what I'm saying is he's doing something that basically gives him more revenue. And that's what I was getting at. Um, Steve says, I used to watch Scotty Boy. Does anyone remember when he used to tell stars, right? That's what he's known for. Mm -hmm. But he stopped. Um, either his, either his own or email to him when he came to a walking channel, too weird. I'm um, sub. That's what I was getting at. Is he shifted from a story channel, which in my opinion he should have stayed in that genre, to to a walking channel, which is completely different. But I believe that gives him more revenue, and I think that's why he's pushing that. If that I think makes a lot sense. of them actually do, but can it have led over to his creepy stuff? Possibly. I mean, that's we're not denying that there's not something going on. And I agree with Mike, it takes time to get stuff, but I don't think when they're talking, when other channels are talking or other people, it's just not channels that are talking for months that they know there's something proof or not i guess they could have at least went and filed something i don't think they're going to ask to see the video on the spot when you fill out that paper they're not going to ask to see that on the spot they're going to take the paperwork yeah now steve says i do not follow consent law but i use it to be because the military code of justice oh, yeah. now here's the thing a lot of us do not follow the consent of law why because we don't plan on breaking the law. We don't plan on going with underage people. The only ones that like, oh, let me see today if they change the law of the age of consent today. <laughs> you know, only, only people with that intention would look up that law on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? Normal people like us don't look up consent of law age of consent because we just know it's wrong we know yeah. it's just wrong you know we all know age of 18 is legal and anything younger is like taboo you know it's i mean and again people who oh in the philippines it's 12 oh in the philippines it's 14 oh in the philippines six eight. well yeah if again if you're maybe 15 years old or 18 years old depending on those age brackets again it's that age plus three years. It has never changed. It's always been that way. If it was 12, the boy would be have to be 15. You know, yada, yada, yada. It was always within that bracket. And then you have to have, I think it's the latest law that, that they, you don't have to marry the girl before you have to marry the girl. But anyway, um, intention of marrying. That's what they call it. PDD will go after RDD for copyright infringement. Right. <laughs> oh, dang. Hector Gubat says, and back in the 70s and 80s, there's a reason why these women are called GROs, guest relations officer. Don't know what they're called now. Just so you guys know. They're still called that, aren't they? Well, just, that's what I was getting at. G GROs are act is actually still a title that they still use in the Philippines. Um, so you'll see a lot of signs around town, help wanted, G-R-O. So, <laughs> I mean, I always laugh whenever I see those signs. Um, oh, dang. Big Papa says, my wife, I am. And I met in Canada. She was 28. I was 45. However, she looked much younger than that. She was often mistaken as my daughter. Filipino look young to us from the West. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, just fact says it takes time to put on investigations together. When they'll have enough, a warrant will be submitted to a magistrate for approval. Okay, Victoria says, I've seen viewers comment on different people's channel pushing vloggers to act and react regarding content with women for their satisfaction to watch. 
are they being real or joking? Who knows? Okay, well... thing is is there's always a the old adage victoria i'm sure you know of it that when you joke about it you're not lying about it meaning um you know if somebody says dang girl you ugly <laughs> just kidding just kidding and that, no they're not kidding <laughs> that's true you know what i'm saying so what i'm saying is i understand that you're not sure if they're serious or not or they're sarcastic but the, for the most part by majority, they they mean it. <laughs> like 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 that. Like I said, the old adage: if you joke about it, you're not you're not joking about it. It's just the way it is. But it's also up to the character of the YouTuber or content creator, as it were. I mean, if their character is real, meaning if they're real people, they would never change, regardless of comment. Um, Steve says, I do not follow content loss. I know, right? I know now that you mentioned it. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Um, that sounded long. I mean, I do not keep up with the changes with content loss. I didn't, I do not need to know deserve. No, no, again, no, I get that. Again, we don't follow, you know, like I said, normal people don't follow. And I think the, that's the point I'm the getting to law. when I mention I'm not condoning and saying it's okay to date a 16, 17 year old. I think I'm trying to make the point. 18 16 17 people you know most people will not follow that situation they'll, they'll date a 30 year old or a 25 i'm just kind of messing around by saying why not if you guys are going to already go for an 18 right. or 19 year old you know you know hardcores like what you just heard that woman actually put her kids they arrested her this just happened a few months ago i mean we know there's more cases going on but the mother um that actually put her kids, they're putting them on camera to sell them for money. Yes, it and, happens. And so there was no surprise on that. But guys, also that happens, I, you know, and I'm not trying to back paddle. It actually happens a lot in the U.S. too. Right. It's crazy. Now, here's the thing, and I've said this before, but a lot of people twist my words and think I'm making things up. Because honestly, a lot of things I don't say on air because I know people will twist things or will flat out won't believe me um here's one of them and this is not from my words i have said this before aj says federal law prohibits an american citizen or a resident to travel to a foreign country with do. intent to engage in any but form of sexual conduct to, you do have to prove this with That's, a minor you know again it's a conversation and when i say right. you know you know why are, like what he said uh, mike said about p diddy and the person being popular a lot of people are blaming the other vloggers for going after him because of jealousy and i think that's wrong too i don't think that's why they are i genuinely feel that the channels and the other side people that don't have channels that would go after scotty are doing it like genuinely okay but on the other hand remember me and george are realists like we'll go down to the end of it and can they prove it what type of, you know, what's going to happen? What's the fallout? You know, it's kind of like there's a lot surrounding it versus just like throwing an opinion out or going down and reporting it. Because like I said, we did it on the other gentleman and it took months for that to happen on the guy right. with the 12 year olds in his house and everything. So what I'm saying is we keep seeing a lot of different things about what's, what they're going to report. But Believe me, they're still going to have to have, I don't think that one video will be just turned over and then they're going to go after you. think they'll really go after him based on that one video? No. No. I wish it was that easy. Because context changes everything. And also, again, it's, it's even then a lawyer can change things too. Um, no, first off, no. And it takes more than that. Um, I mean, I understand some of you was like, oh, no, it's enough. It's that. Yeah. Well, court of law and everything else is different from um, like um, what actually was it Steve that says morality is subjective. Same thing with the law. It's subjective, meaning interpretation of the law. That's why there's lawyers. It's they'll adjust 
the law according to the case to make it work for them. You know, so technically law is subjective in a very roundabout way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I see it this way. We're well aware what Mike was saying. So imagine if I went after every channel and just started asking them to file cases against different things, you know, because it doesn't have to be with immigration. It could be with NBI, the local police and all of that. But I don't see, I don't know. Yeah. To me, it starts to become. All right. You know, all right, Bruce, you outed yourself out. I hate to say this. Now <laughs> I know why the mic on your phone is broken. Oh, Bruce nice. Davis says, Cam Girls. All right, Bruce, now I know why your mic is broken on your phone. Um, cam Girls, I'm kidding. Cam Girls are same too because they're getting naked, doing things to themselves and making money. Okay, what Bruce is saying is a lot like YouTubers. Cam Girls do certain things because I assume, because again, I don't watch Cam Girls. But I believe their viewers say, okay, they type something like, do this, and then they send money, and then they'll do the act, and so on and so forth. What I'm saying is, Bruce Davis is saying is that they do the show according to their audience. Yeah. I'm getting the link for people to join the live stream. So um Big Papa says twenty years ago Pinoy's in general would never stand for the crap seeing online in the name of being Pinoy. And the reason I was hesitating is I was giving Scotty a chance to see if he wanted to come on. I get it. So for him to speak his mind. It doesn't mean that he chickened out, uh, just maybe just at this point he knows that there is a manhunt. So literally, so uh, but it was a chance for him to come on. We know he's been in our room. He could be in our room now. This is a chance for Scotty to come on and address the others that are actually moving forward. There's StreamYard. So I'm getting the link there. What's wrong? You checking another case? No. You know, you're still right. No, 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 no. Um... Yeah, what right. do you no 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 big papa trial says again 20 years ago penis in general would never stand for that crap um woody light says 20 years ago there was no youtube but there was internet there were other right there was no youtube see. right but but next year it would make 20 years right but, but what there i'm saying other ways of putting well i, I wasn't YouTube. talking about the argument i'm talking about that ages us no it actually does I'm like oh dang that long ago and we're not even 60 that's the crazy part. i mean lord it's... of the rings came out 20 years ago you know that's over 20 years ago you know that i'm like <laughs> wow that was like yesterday you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but anyway yeah no i i agree no um no again i wasn't picking on your comment i was just thinking like wow it wasn't it didn't seem like long ago but it is um aj and, says and so we'll, many one second we'll put the link up here Guys, check your audio. Um, no voice changers. We get, like I said, some will probably come on with some of it changed. But yeah, try to. No, see, here's the thing, AJ. I agree with you. Um, no oh, sorry. sorry. Um, so I'm many expats here. who have never been abroad and to the Philippines don't do diligent research will be in trouble with laws here in the Philippines. Truth. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like. If you're a diddler, you would think you would research the laws better so you don't get caught, but they don't. They just so it's pinned to the top. You know, put in. a lot of these diddlers sit like, oh, it's twelve years old. Oh, it's fourteen years old. Oh, it's sixteen. No, they believe in the old stuff, and like I said, there are people with no morals. And but me and George just understand where we are on things because me and George are not moral police. We're not the first to just throw somebody under a bus. And not that that's actually happening. What we're saying is that 
in a case like this, we do want to, before we step off, like we did on that guy that lived in our neighborhood, is to have everything. And there was enough footage, um, photos, everything to take that guy down. So that is for sure. Yeah. Um, Big Papa says, when I first come to the Philippines 20 years ago, just looking to a young girl, could get you in trouble with locals. Yes and no. It 20 years ago has nothing to do with it. It's um, location, location, location. Depending on the area where you land and depending on the area where you try to pick up young women could get you in trouble. Um, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Again, it, 20 year, it, it, that still hasn't changed. If you go into the cities, it'll be more tolerated per se, but the deeper you are in the province, but, and then even then, depending on the province, but for the most part, yeah, you don't do that. Um, yeah, yeah, no. YouTube started in two thousand five. Yeah, and it's it's not twenty years yet. Yes, I mean it's next year. It'll be it'll be yeah twenty years ago. Let's see whose head that is. Oh, I recognize the top of that head, too. Did your mom dust your bunny a bunch? Uh, sure did. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What is going on? Oh, nothing, nothing much. You yeah, know, sorry to hear about your uncle passing away. I wanted to... Yeah, sorry about Tommy. Yeah, yeah. pretty tough. Yeah. I don't think he got to, you know, taken care of very well. That's, uh, they don't do that. They don't do that stuff over there. Uh, anybody that knows that over there in the Philippines, they take care of their family uh, till the end. They yep. don't do that. They don't throw your family away, you know. Like they the do parents. in the West. That I agree. I miss like way back in the old days, the 50s, 60s, they still used to do that. Even in the early 80s, but yeah, that's the one thing is the family values that they have here. You know, if somebody's mentally ill or they're disabled or their parents, they take care of them. And on top of that, people aren't aware that they're, you know, the laws that the Filipino P talked about, they are pretty legit. If somebody wants to take a family member to court for not getting the basic support, you know, and helping out. And we're not talking about you got to buy them a brand new car and put them in like expensive clothes and all that. But there are laws, you know, family laws that protect, you know, families to be families. And so uh, most of them will do that anyway. So it is, it's, it is really nice. You know, I, I, I just see like the, there's, there's good points and there's bad points uh, when it comes to obviously certain things when you put your, if you if that's what you're going to do put your uh, mother father in a place um but what i've experienced and seen now I, i'm not going to say it's my state because they've already they, they've already got uh investigations uh you know on on a place you know for the elderly so it's like it's everywhere yeah that's but, nursing yeah, homes terrible. are really a hot mess yes it's terrible Mhm. Mm I agree. They we were discussing that the other day about the nursing homes and people. I know some get busy and the other, you know, and can't take care of the parents or some need more care than others. I get that part like ones that, you know, have serious medical conditions. But here in the Philippines, they build additional homes. It's inexpensive to bring in somebody to help with them. Other family members will help. And it's actually really, really great. Oh, yeah. So I, I wanted to say, and, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention names or nothing like that. Okay. But I think sometimes, man, people need to focus on people that are actually doing stuff if you're out and about and, and i know everybody that that comes on here that's that's live streamers this and that everybody's got a life everybody's busy heidi and george have stuff to do um i get it you know but people need to focus 
not just on not this regular guy because I don't like him, and I've already explained to myself why I don't like the guy. Okay, when you talk about what you were saying earlier, your mother with, with the mother thing when he's sitting there picking with the girl, touching her, drunk, whatever it is, there's no excuse for that kind of crap. Okay, right. But let's let's also, if you're going to focus on him, let's focus on other people, because there are actually good people in this world that want to go over there and stay, because we're tired of the crap that's going on here. Or if it's other people, maybe Australia, maybe it's uh, Britain, maybe it's London, wherever. But people are just getting tired and stuff. And all it's going to do is is make more rules and make it more harder for us to go over there. Well, yeah, it'll just make it harder for the other guys that come here that are behaving, you know. I, I don't care. I don't care if guys want to go and get bar girls, if that's your thing. If, if that is what you say, even MYK has said this a bunch of time. I've heard other people say it on other channels. If that is your thing and you do not want to settle down, that's fine. We all know that these kind of places, that, yeah, there's places are going to have young girls in there. But you, if you want, you know, somebody young, like if you're like 50, 60 years old, maybe there's a, maybe there's a 28 or 30 or, you know, hell, the Asian women over there at 35 and 40 look amazing. 50 years old, they look amazing. Yeah, they don't have to be super young. Yeah. But I'm, again, this isn't for like nobody. I just know myself, I, I think what what regular guy's doing, he's going to get himself in trouble or he's going to have to figure out and start listening to people because I personally like thought maybe he might change his ways from... I thought maybe. And, 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 and I was wrong, and like other people are. We're wrong. And then there's the people that are probably going to stay in the chat. Well, I just never believed them. And that's right. There's nothing well, you would think when you become the focus on multiple channels, and again, we cover things that are actually in the actual light right now, okay? And then with the guy getting arrested, it kind of brings things back up again. And in that case, you know, uh, you he knows that he's being watched because in his last video, he's still talking about it. So he's aware of it, and then he was still focusing the camera. Now, here's the thing. I would never let anybody dictate our channel and change a bunch of things unless it was like, you know, where we get some feedback like, hey, you know, um, like we've gotten multiple microphones over the years that we've been doing live streams. Okay, that's a good criticism. We've changed them and we've done some. But as far as like people saying, oh, stop your gossip, you guys never do it. Well, we're going to keep doing our thing. But it's like regular guy is getting some of that criticism. He's aware of what's going on, but then he still continues the behavior. Does he not? He just did it again last night. He's still focusing in. He even focused in on a guy in the mall and said, why do the gay guys look at me like that? And it's like, that was kind of odd that he would even mention that. So He's focusing, I don't know if he's trying to focus in on everybody just to, but the behavior that people are talking about, he's sh still showing things on camera. That by itself, I don't think is going to get him in trouble unless those women report him. But things like the live stream that he put out can. And so, yeah, I, it just, it, you know. Okay. I, I don't, uh, it, regular guy doesn't get any excuses or any pass. Okay. No People tried to tell him to to kind of cool off with with the the zoom in. It, you know, I, I guess it's not. What if it's not even about the like the young girls? Let's put that aside. You're just sitting here zooming in on people and saying ridiculous stuff. How do you know that guy's gay? You don't know, so you shouldn't say that stuff. Like, isn't there a thing that we used to say like? If you ain't got nothing nice to say, you know, just kind of keep your mouth shut. Like. George tells this me guy, at three times a day. continuously does the same behavior. And then you've got people out there that are tired of him showing little girls. Because, it, it, look, if me and George are out there, and I meet George, and he's, like, showing me around, and I say, hey, George, um, can we go talk to those girls over there? 
they're young. George is like, no, you, you can't do that. Okay, not not only am I putting myself at risk, and if I, it, I'm putting him at risk too because he lives there. Okay, and then I just said, okay, George, I'm gonna start videotaping since we're out here, and I started zooming and doing this crazy stuff and saying all this. You know what would happen to me? They would do the same thing to me. He doesn't get a pass. He chose to do this behavior, and now whatever consequences he gets, and I'm not saying people go and beat him up, but if that's their thing, that's their business. I stay out of that crap. But he will get his in the end. Well, to clarify, if me and Bruce, if Bruce said he was going to do that, I'd, to, I'd, I'd let him do it, <laughs> and then I'll call, I'll report him to the Bureau of Immigration, and I can collect my 2,000 peso yeah, reward. See, see what I mean? George, George can say, hey, I'm your friend, but he's going to be turning, he's going to be, see what I mean? And that's what would happen. That, listen, you, you think that these people can be your friends, even if they're, they're your friends, but if they catch you doing something wrong, do you not think somebody's not going to turn you in? It doesn't have to be George or Heidi. It could be somebody on the street. That no, see, that's the thing. thing. I, somebody will report you in yeah, and they, there is a reward again. And, and well, first off, again, for most and, and two thousand pesos, you know, it's really nothing. But that. yeah, <laughs> I, my cutoff, my cutoff is 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 at twenty eight, you know, to thirty. Like, and I like older women too. So like. <laughs> I don't have nothing in common. And that's one thing I can agree with Andy about. I have nothing in common being a guy in my 40s. I have nothing at all. I, I, I don't understand. And then people want to sit there and chop you down and call you every name in the yeah. book right. because you yourself don't like young girls. I, I, I don't get it. No, and that's the thing again, like all of us again, we don't we don't even bother with the law regarding that because it's like, oh, well, why would we? We don't even, we won't touch that stuff, you know what I mean? Um all of us, I mean again, most of us normal people don't we just look and then move on like, you know, like normal people. And do. I'll address AJ really quick and end it just as quick as that. Why is it that you would come in and actually ask that? Did he contact you? Did you contact him? Kind of curious why only one person would come in and say that. It is kind of weird. I mean, yes and no. The same reason he was before. There was a time and point he was before. So same thing kind of applies. He knows. So I won't address other people about it. There's several vloggers that are not allowed on our channel. So, and somebody addressed about you cussing and that your innocent ears didn't hear it. We don't really allow that either. There's multiple reasons why certain guests and people aren't. So, Well, I should believe it or not. A lot of people don't like to hear. Because Steve said um, um, Andy does cuss, so George's virgin ears can't handle it. And no, that's that actually, that's not them, it. But that's not. But no, actually, you can cuss at me all you want. But yeah. the, the thing is, it's actually not me. It's a lot of people think that cussing is normal. Actually, it's not. Even in the U.S., I know a lot of families that don't cuss at all and you know you know me and actually in the chat same thing a lot of people in our chat complain about the cussing it forget me trust me i am the most desensitized desensitized person of all and i will analyze you and I, I, because i won't judge you that way and i'm like okay why is this guy cussing and then i'm like oh okay i see it makes sense you know I'm so let me ask you when you're when you're out and about <laughs> talking with your filipina friends neighbors whatever um are you are you cussing are they cussing um or how do they feel about that do they do they think it's just you know awful like why is this person like saying every other word the cuss word and swearing right um now there's somebody there was an argument actually with a get of uh, one of our guests and in the chat, they said, 
the argument was, is cussing acceptable in the Philippines? I would say it depends. And it also depends. It mostly depends on the people you're with. Um, somebody says, the argument was, oh, well, you know, you, the people I know, they don't cuss. And then the person, person is, no, they, cut, they all cuss. And then, and then that's the argument. Again, that's pro-cussing, anti-cussing. Again, first off, nothing to do with me. I'm, um, but we're talking about the Philippines here. Yeah, um, AJ has nothing to do with the cussing. No, 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 yeah. But He's what I'm saying is, sense. just so you guys know, as a general rule, my experience when I was a kid and as an adult now, the vast majority is, an, is, is on the anti-cussing. And the ones that I do know that do cuss, they don't cuss like you think they are. Like, um, like for example, the most common, and they would cuss like example, for example. Well, that and we let Gogo back in. He flat out called another vlogger a name on there. And we said it was wrong, but right. we kind of did a timeout for a little bit. Right. And so then right. Gogo's welcome back. And like, for example, when a Filipino cusses, in my personal opinion, that I have seen, they would say something like this. And I'm going to cuss right now in Filipino. They were like, you know, it's in a joking manner. It's more like, you know, you son of a bitch, you know, you know, that, that kind of deal. And it's in a joking manner. However, when it's a real argument and fight, then that's when, but for the most part, even jokingly, the Filipinos that do cuss are just a rare occasion. Usually they have to have a little, a little bit of sauce in them oh, before no. they even, Was before it, they even go that mode. We discussed Kupal, right? It's, uh, Kupal? Yeah. yeah. That's what Steve said. Yeah. Well, cuss. you'll, ne you'll really won't hear that for the most part. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I'm saying is, I and and again, one our guests will probably argue with me, like, oh no, they cuss. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was Big Papa. Well, no, 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 Big Papa says cussing in the Philippines. Oh, that the the one that's the pro, the anti cussing, right? No, yeah. it's not. It's really yeah, not. It's really not. It's really not. I, it I and again, if our guests will argue me, I I get it. I understand where you're coming from. And that's from. okay if other channels but run it on there. For the most or part, no, it's said, really not acceptable. But, it really yeah. isn't. Um, and the reason that I brought that up too is because Woody Light says, I have seen Street Justice in Angeles, Pampanga, when s someone stole a lady's cell phone. Yeah, yeah, it's what I call, I always tell Heidi, yeah, we have something that they call here called mob justice. I won't call it street justice, it's mob justice, because usually it's more than one person going after the guy. You know what I'm saying? Now, Steve says, if you hit your thumb with a hammer while trying to drive in a nail. First thing you say is, oh, fudge, you have anger issues. Oh, right. <laughs> well, Steve's right yeah. on that one. No, I just have to think of the times I've done that. Um, There was a really long period of time that I've never cussed, and everybody who knew me will... Actually, a lot of people who still know me will say George never cusses. But point being is, no, I'm I'm really anti-cussing. I'm just exposed to people that do, and therefore you kind of absorb what's around you, if that makes any sense. But for the most part, most of my entire adult, from child to adult life, I never cussed. But I don't care if you do. That's the thing. Well, like when we You're had, not offending when we, me. When we had Kuya John on there, he was. He was like, right. he dropped it's, the F-bomb every Yeah, Kuya John minutes. isn't offending me, but I know he's offending most of the audience. Yes. Which he's bad. been back on since, so <laughs> we're, we're straight with that. Yes, and again, um, Big Papa says Elvis waited until she was legal because of Cornell and Elvis' mother made sure they slept in separate rooms to protect Elvis and her. Yeah. Steve says I make a yeah, but that probably wouldn't be years. smoothed over if people tried that now, though, because he's still there was still a form of an affair going on just because they, you know, there's so much behind that Elvis story. He was still kissing on her and hugging on her and they all kinds of things happened with Elvis. 
But I mean, I don't know, guys. So is it okay for Elvis because he's the king or something back in the day? There was still a lot of weird stuff. No. Yeah. Well, so it was just that Elvis relationship. I love Elvis's music. I think it's a great love story, but when you start thinking about the age difference and everything else, it's kind of crazy. Same with Jerry so, Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. He did right. marry her when she was 13. Yeah. And they had several kids. People people uh, back then, they man, they uh <laughs> they didn't like that. Well, and let's put it this way. Again, if you put the whole thing out there, think of it this way. Again, we get some people would and wouldn't, you know, back in 1600s, marrying somebody or starting an affair with somebody that's already a woman. And you guys know what that means, their ability to have a baby. Some kings and queens and other people back in the day would actually start relationships back then. Because they had to, they were working a farm. They would give off their daughter at 14 years old. Well, and so if it wasn't this years. day and age, where would people's morals <laughs> and all that compass, if they seen the world with that type of relationship, would they be leaning in that direction? We, yeah. we don't, we, you know what? Heidi's right. Like they did do that stuff. And yes, they we, did. We, it, listen, Even in the 1800s. Sit here and say they don't do it in other places. And I'm it was just done in the like 70s. Yeah, other countries still do it. These gypsies and everything else, they're still marrying them off at 14. I mean, this isn't the cowboy days, and, and we're not just uh, saying, well, I'm just going to marry this girl. I mean, she could be, you know, like you're saying, uh, at 14. We look at it different, but they did do that stuff back then. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying that it doesn't happen in other places. Yeah, and it's still happening. In parts of the world, we... No, as adults, you don't do that. Yeah, the African tribes and some of these other tribal countries. And uh, me and George was just talking about somewhere here in Asia, it's where there's a Muslim group that go off and kidnap the wives they're going to marry. And that's kind of crazy. That's recently. It's just their customs in that area. And so it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure and that's part of the it. marriage is they have to go kidnap the woman they want. They don't even know they're coming it's most of the time. It's, their culture. it's a culture. Didn't they used it's their to culture. do that back in the cowboy days too or something like that? I, I could have sworn they did that kind of stuff back then too. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things, but it doesn't make the behavior right now. That's for sure. It's just the YouTube has brought everything forward, you know, just everybody. Wow. This is kind of out there. Yeah. So Heidi, and, and here's one thing I, that I did uh, want to say. Somebody in the chat did say, okay, th there's nothing wrong with filming and, and stuff and doing all that kind of cool things. If you're going places, you're showing things, you're going to show people. It, it's what it is. Mm -hmm. but you should have the respect of not zooming in on people. I don't care if it's, if it's a kid. I don't care if it's, a, if it's a grown man or a grown woman. You shouldn't do that. It, it's, right. It's just... What happens if you go to one of these small towns and and, and this and this regular guy does that and and say, you know, something could. See, it doesn't have to be what other people say, what they want to do to him or they're going to do to him. He's going to mm -hmm. get caught up in doing one of these things and either somebody's going to tell him to knock it off or, you know, obviously what, what George just said, something could happen. A simple phone. I'm just saying, right? The, we, I can't defend people that are doing this kind of stuff. And after listening to MYK's with that that you know hiring thing, that that is that that's awful. That his mindset is he's 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 got mental problems. You say MYK? No. MYK when he did the video, remember? He did the no. video with uh, Oh, when he did the video with regular with guy. Regular guy and regular guy was yeah. about hiring and MYK basically said that was almost like rape. You're raping a woman or you're raping a girl because it would be a girl in, in his case. Right. Uh. Loving the Philippines says Richard took Armstrong channel and Donna took Mommy Me. Well, first off, Donna Mommy Me channel is only about three months old. Yeah. Well, Mommy Me, yeah, it, it's just purely her channel. 
Um, well, just it was so just create know. unless she unless it was with. OK, here's the thing. I know Don at one point had a separate channel that was doing real estate. Uh, can you tell us if that's what that channel is? And she deleted everything else. I know there was one point she had the real estate thing going on. I thought she kept that on the Armstrong channel, yeah. but it's possible. I'm just saying that account shows that it's only three months worth of videos, but I didn't check. I she's go. making money on hers now. No, again, the Miami May channel is actually hers, period, alone, ever. Yeah. Um. Now, the Armstrong channel, it's theirs. And the reason why it's theirs, plural, it's cumulative, channel. because one, Richard, all Richard did on that yeah, channel. Yeah, she just started that channel, guys. It right. was only a couple months Richard's old. contribution to that channel is he is the content on that channel. But well, there, he, he became that in the beginning. It was just there getting married online. No, I know that. It was, but, but in the end, yes. But what I'm saying is the, the editor, the filmographer, everything was all Mommy Me. And anybody who contests me on that one, I ask them, watch Mommy Me channel, and you'll know exactly what I if you can't see the filmographer and editor and everything is is Donna, then you're blind. And that's another thing is he actually made the statement about he hired in people to do the work because she mentioned she does. In the videos that I was able to catch, like because like I said, they're not all hidden because they're on other platforms. He doesn't realize that. Um, I it's um, not all the videos got taken down. If you guys go on. Um, uh, Google or through um, MSN, you can still see some that are attached to others. But I was watching her. She did a lot of work. She and does. she said she, she had to go shopping. She showed herself out doing the shopping. So if there was somebody hired in, then they would have been out there doing that. But it looks like she still continued. That had to be rough. Well, the building. It doesn't the mean you have a kids. maid that they're going to do the shopping for you. Now, will some maids go to the market for you? Yeah, that's up to you. Um, but. Yeah. Uh, she still had to do a lot of work. Well, what I'm saying is, but usually, usually a lot of people with maids live in maids, mind you. Uh -huh. They do the shopping still. And right. there's still stuff to do. I used to think that down the road, if we decided to hire somebody in, that it would help. Yeah. You know, doing that, like main heavy cleaning and everything. But there's still things you have to do. I mean, they're not going to do every single well, thing not, for you. Putting they're not away like your laundry. Your, and they're not like your psychic. They're literally right there. Like your hand right, butler. They're like literally the royal, right there. No. Like a royal or something. A lot of right. people think that, but they do the basics and they're either living or they leave. Right. And well, uh, we've had a few people attempt to come and clean the house. And that's something that takes a while for them, to, you know, to get to clean the house. So right. You have to help show them. And, and even then, even if they're living, they have their time limits, meaning usually after one, some, again, depending on, on how, how you crack the whip, rather, some after they're done fixing dinner, that's after that it's their time off some after the dishes are done after the family's eating their dinner that's a time off and you know it varies it depends on how strict you are and everything else mm -hmm. um no it's not so much that we believe donna and it's not so much we believe richard again we're trying to be neutral as possible um we're trying to show both parties as um both parties in equal light as possible um Honestly, there's been stuff coming in from multiple people that are claiming to be their neighbors, and it's a little bit of both. I was saying earlier, they're saying they both were tyrants. So do we believe that also, that they both were stuck up and mean to everybody? Or you can never, in a divorce like that with a lot going on, we don't know like either. But when you see something like he said that she had help, that it wasn't her, and then you see her in her videos doing stuff, or that he was the one that did all the YouTube stuff, and then you see her editing compared to his, then it's like you just some things are just evident. So actually, neither side. But, I, I just hope that they become friends, um, and you know, leave it at the friends thing. And who knows? Like maybe they can be business partners and just be friends. He can live somewhere else she can live somewhere else if they're with people then you know respect each other's wishes but i mean that's what i think it probably won't be that way obviously but you know i always try to think the positive of things because 
you know, once you break up or divorce or any of that stuff, you know, what happens usually? It's what do I get? Well, when it's Western, I should say, what do I get? How much money do I get? You know, and uh, what's mine? And uh, take your stuff and get lost, you know, kind of thing for the guy. So I just hope the best for him. And maybe it won't. Maybe they'll never be friends. Um, you know, maybe he well, didn't. A lot of couples that stuff. never are. Yeah. I don't think they will, the way they're behaving right now. Yeah. Um, John Ryder, okay, this is not, this is a popular opinion, to be honest with you. I would put Richard in the same group as Fazio. They yeah. both talked a lot, but knew nothing about building. Now, first up, I'm, I'm just going to let you know again, as far as building houses and stuff like that, I'm, all I know is very, very basic, so I wouldn't know. Um, but a lot of people who are into building videos, again, usually say this like, oh, well, he doesn't know crap, whatever. And again, I, I honestly can't agree to that only because I don't know. I really don't, but I've heard that a lot. Yes. Um, sneaky yellow devil says, yeah, yeah. I think law enforcement calls it the tender age for that certain age range. Um, I don't know if what's his name was addressing. Who's saying this stuff? Is that addressing what we've been saying? I it's through the comment sections. Yeah. If that's what you're. I, again, sometimes it's hard to tell when you guys aren't like putting at to the other person you're talking to. So when you put a comment in after other comments, it's kind of hard well, to determine. So, um, to those guys who've been with us for a while. We're talking about our comment section, emails, and messages on Messenger. That's where we're getting our information when, right now. Yeah, it's common practice, unfortunately, in the modern world now that if you were addressing somebody, put their name in. And the reason why, for example, we kind of attacked people well, when they were talking to well, other people. But let's say, uh, let's, let's, yeah, sorry. Well, let's give an example. For example, um, our panel, well, right now, if you say, for example, he, he's saying horse hockey right now, even right now, this moment, that's a very fresh comment right now. Like, who are you talking about? Are you talking about George? Are you talking about Bruce? Are you talking about Armstrong? Are you talking about regular guy? Right. So it's kind of hard saying. And when I say we've attacked people back, I mean, attack right. as in we will, you know, spat out, hey, what, so, what's the deal with that? Yeah, and I mean, I, sure. I'm just saying, guys, again, re retrain yourself if possible. I know it's hard. But whenever you address somebody, try to put their name in. because. And we did say at the know. beginning of the, the live stream, besides addressing the regular guy situation, addressing the American arrested, that we would be addressing the hearsay, gossip, chismas, messages, emails, and a ton of comments that looked like it fell off their channel from us covering, you know, right. on, and, on and them like said, and their channel being closed. Of, of course, we expected that. So yeah. we're just saying what's going around. And we're that, not saying that it's the Bible. And anybody who's been on our channel over time knows that it is a discussion. The disclaimers are inside of the description. Right. So try to put the name to the person you're addressing to because and that's why i'm also skip skip these comments because they're very vague again like for example like i just said if you just say he's a liar we don't know who you're talking about me bruce mm -hmm. you know armstrong scotty boy and a lot of times and we try to i'll just say, skip that comment because i'm like okay right. who yeah move on and we do you know try to say allegedly, possibly, you'll hear a lot of that for some legality issues or, you know, if we are, then I will say directly about things like, you know, earlier we said about Andy, he should know what it's about and it's from what happened before. And that's just where we're, you know, I'm addressing him or we address people direct or I'll say, hey, tomorrow. And this is just a statement, not that it's real. I would say if I meant something about regular guy, then I would go in and just say, I'm going down and going to report him. We're pretty blunt when we're, we, you know, when we mean what we mean. So, but no, this is emails, yeah. emails, messages, comments that are available to the public. That's the whole point of commenting and statement. And, and, and I agree. We rarely block somebody. We rarely, right now I can think of about four channels that have been here recently that actually have been here lately. 
and that's just our right or when people are cussing up too much for sure yeah um let's see philippine modeling house is rather heavy if concrete walls and we're not i'm going to let you know right now it doesn't matter we're going to start vetting the people that are coming up in the room that's why we sent out per, uh, personal links in the beginning so nope not gonna do it um address that no I won't that's what I was starting to say no name no face no vetted person um cornflake nation says he's having it built more to western centers locals are learning from him hey focus on Asia how you doing JR in the middle of a live stream we haven't had a chance to sit there and go through that or whatever's going on No, Richard did again admit that they've been together for. They've been together, but they haven't been with each other for two years. Out of the yes. house, yeah, together physically, he said, and then eight eight months not together, and that's where the conversation came up because we also did a video the next day because within that twelve hour period, it turns out that they said that they're they're cutting down on expats and their visas and violations and then they said something about filipinas turning in their spouses boyfriends or other visitors on violations and that kind of just came right back around to richard that when you haven't been together in the last eight months did he actually do something about his visa um and why he continued to and if he actually worked it became a conversation the other day yeah. whether or not yeah John Ryder, Donna should move into the last home and claims I spoils the money. She can't do that and she won't do that because the houses they built is backwards. What I'm saying is they didn't build the houses to sell. The first house, yes, they built the house. And then yeah. after they built the house, they sold it. The rest, they I'm were. I'm not even sure how many they did. Uh, there's they rumor were, they did several of them. And then I just seen the one. Well, what I'm saying is after the first house, those were, the first house was meant to be theirs. They said it. I think they knew from the beginning they were doing No, that. I, I know that. Now but that but I'm, it, I'm using their yeah. own words. Their yeah. own words. The first house was theirs. Yes. And then the rest were built to sell. So what I'm saying is, the first house was sold anyway for sure that was already guaranteed guaranteed it was already yeah, they sold. said they had to right. sell it in order to buy the next land so and then they said they were building their house and then i guess maybe that wasn't the the real truth out there well, either right? way donna's not gonna do that nor can she do that because again it showed her it showed on her video that she was going back to the last build so she's evidently doing something on her facebook it showed her at that house well, so maybe she is going to continue with the crew. It's hard saying, you know, you never know on that. Oh, wait. Yeah. And on her Facebook under, she's got a, a mommy high yeah, but Facebook. Which house? You're talking about the very, very first house? No, that one was already sold. No, I know that. Else. No, It must the, be the last one. No, the last there. one isn't finished. Right. She was back over there doing right. something. Well, I, I don't, I'm just saying it's not finished regardless. I got it. She was over there doing something. Yeah. So. What I'm saying is she's just not leaving it alone. She's over there doing something, it looks like, on her Facebook. But um, not necessarily, no. She doesn't have to show up in court. Nope. It's being done no. from the U.S. According to him, his attorneys are actually. Yeah, they're doing the um, the divorce in the U.S. court. And in she U.S. Said court, it too, just not him. Neither. They both said Yeah. It. Only one of them has to appear for the divorce. Um, He can do the there's ways i mean i'm not going to go in deep into that but there's ways you can do without the other per person well present. according to him if he hired an attorney the attorney would step in for him he wouldn't even have to but according to law okay i don't know what an attorney does i mean we're not an attorney 
that he is supposed to live in the U.S. for a part, you know, he's supposed to be there six, seven months a year in order to file for a divorce. But maybe with an attorney, it can be done. So that part I knew had found out about. But he said his attorney was handling everything. And I haven't seen that he's left, but we don't watch him every day. And his videos have been further and further out. So who knows if he actually left and came back in already. So he might have already appeared. Yeah. MJ says in Oklahoma, age of constant, still 16 years old. Recently, a pro basketball player in Oklahoma, Thunder, was caught in provocative videos with a girl under 18 years old. Wow. Yeah. Well, look at that whole case that went on with that other singer forever. Um, that was crazy. They're saying that Aaliyah was underage with him and a bunch of things happened. And he forever was like a few of his wives were underage when he met him. And that's, I just, that's crazy. But it went on forever. That court case, eight, nine years trying to chase him and um, that they're claiming that he sent somebody out to the mall to look for women. And it was crazy. Yeah, I don't get it. With all due respect, with the P again, with all due respect for the P. If everyone looking for eighteen years old, that makes Filipino P a, a mama son. What what I'm saying is again, it no again thirty years old here in the Philippines, you're a cougar if you're a female. To say right. it, it's fact. Yeah. <laughs> so does that make you a grandma at forty? Yeah. At that the P's age, they would consider her, yeah, a cougar up there in age, a mama son, just not a cougar. It's kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian Nichols says in Bible days, if you get a single woman pregnant, you marry her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still like that in some countries yeah. for sure. Shotgun wedding. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> see, oh, <man>. see, says, <laughs> P is way past the wall. She's a leftover woman. Like I oh, said, snap, at 30, see. you're a cougar. Again, with all due respect to the P, again, I'm just saying. If you're 50 years old, you're a great grandmother. Oh, no, nah, you're here, yeah. I mean, That's... I'm just saying, would that would they call you that, or would it have to be somebody, like, actually in their, like, 80s or 90s? Well, like I said, when they call me, well, luckily, nobody ever has called me Tatai or Dad. They've called me Bop, which is Uncle, and oh, my God. I thought that... you said somebody called you Tatai. No, never. Oh, me, look at never. No, they call me Bop, which is just as worse. Hmm. Bop is uncle. And I'm like, God damn it. Because that means you're old. Is that like um Bop? That means you're old. Um Bop. When they, say um, you, bop, when they call um, you Koya or Kuya, oh, as they brother. Call you, all right, Kuya is what they've been yeah, calling you. When they call you yeah, no, I've been called Bop probably twice, but no, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> all right, I think we'll wrapping this up babe. that's getting because we have to go out sad says mama sense skills oh dang you ain't right <laughs> um rocky says expats come over here and treat women filipino like a car lease did a filipino until the age of 25 then trade her for a younger model well that's okay if you're young but when you're older you can't do that there's a limit to it and we're supposed to sometimes talk to dexter got busy this morning so that we got like maybe an update should probably we'll probably use that for saturday so or which is friday for the u.s but i think we'll wrap this up guys sounds good yeah yeah thank we you so much guys Bruce appreciate for so dropping much in. um yeah. never heard of bob as uncle only tito or uncle yeah there's there's actually different ones tarzan says my wife calls me daddy <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, Jeff said everybody needs to take a side. Team Donna or Team Richard. Right. Uh, it looks like the neighbors actually Th are saying says, either, but... Tara says, lol, I'm a cougar. Uh-oh, who's looking out the window at people? <laughs> hey, check out. Steve said, Any, um, everything I know about building a house, he says, make a fist. This is a house. This is a steeple. Open up and inside is the people. <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an old one there, right? 
Uh, thank you for everybody dropping in. Big Papa, AJ Hap was in the house. Thanks so much, Darren King. Appreciate you so much for your support. John Ryder, loving. Thank you so Hello, much, Ted, for being with us and your help. Thanks so much. Thank you, Scott in the world as I see it. Of course, Bruce. Who's that Bruce Davis guy? Yeah, who's Bruce? Um, who's Bruce? It looks like loving the Philippines. Uh, pretty interested in that couple. <laughs> Uh, said she has a Facebook that you're currently watching. Um, we went in to look it up. Yes. So so when the channel got shut down, yes, we know that she does. I mean, that's not exactly out of the norm. So to see what was actually active. So let's see. Tarzan was in the house. Thanks so much, um, Big Papa. John Sarah Ryder. Sarah was in the house. I believe Jeff Ted was, was in with there. us. Hector. Yeah, I Hector Guba. That's right. Thanks further, so much, Hector. Ricky, AJ, Digital Nomad. Thanks so much. Steve, uh, what's her name? Was Travel it? Trends. A couple of our Salem. Salem. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you later. All right. See you guys Saturday or Friday night for you guys on the next one, unless something else comes up. More. Bye, more, guys. More. Bye, guys.